Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook. After being spotted by the vampire school beauty, I got numb. Chapter 61. There was a lot of fun at the dinner table, and Su Jay felt as if he had been integrated into a big family. Is one drink enough, or some more? Lin Shiching asked with concern. Su Jay smiled and shook his head. It's okay, that's enough. If I drink too much, I might get indigestion. Okay then, will you share my cake? Lin Shiching asked again. Lin Xiaohua coughed when he saw this. Drink blood, drink blood, and talk less. Lin Shiching glanced at her father after hearing this. I'm just going to say something to Su Jay. Dad, I used to talk when we were drinking blood. Why don't you allow it this time? Lin Xiaohua was suddenly speechless. Su Jay said quickly. Shiching, I won't eat the cake. You can eat it. Lin Xiaohua looked at Su Jay and secretly grinded his teeth. This kid almost stole his, crystal. Why, time is also destiny. He is really powerless as a father. Bai Ying and Yi Wei watched this scene with interest. Bai Ying has a bit of a love brain, and she really hopes that Su Jay and Lin Shi can fall in love. This became the first case of love between a blood master and a blood slave in the Lin clan's blood clan for thousands of years. So epic making significance. Moreover, Su Jay and Lin Shi Ching are handsome and beautiful, so they are very good to drink. She likes to eat this kind of good-looking CP the most. When breakfast time was over, Yi Wei drove Su Jay and Lin Shi Ching to school. After the previous extended version of the Rolls Royce was damaged, Yi Wei temporarily switched to a big G and drove it first. There is still plenty of space inside the car, and it is equipped with blackout glass to prevent sunlight from shining in. I have to go to the first class this morning. That's one of my favorite teachers. I like the ancient poetry she teaches. Don't you have a class too? You also go to class. After class, I will meet you. Well, I'll bring some good friends with me by the way. Quote. Lin Shiching thought for a while and then said. Do you have any friends in school? Su Jay expressed surprise. Lin Shiching glanced at Su Jay. What do you mean return it? Can't I have friends? The Korean Dance Club, House Dance Club, and Animation Club in our school are basically sponsored by me, and I am their financial backer. The presidents of those clubs have a pretty good relationship with me. Quote. Su Jae was stunned. At the same time, I remembered something. Those are the clubs that Lin Shiching mentioned just now. They hold many large-scale performances every year. The costumes and props are very exaggerated, and the funds seem to be inexhaustible. Su Jae had always been confused before, but now he seemed to know where so much funding came from. You're awesome. Su Jae had met the presidents of these clubs before when watching the party in the lecture hall. Kui Shaoshi, the president of the Korean Dance Club, is 1.75 meters tall and very powerful. She has a pair of long legs without a trace of fat. She dances sassy. The president of the house dance club and the president of the animation club are best friends, and both of them are considered two-dimensional. But the two people went in completely opposite directions. Yi Exener, the president of the house dance club, is a very cute girl. She usually dresses in a cute style. With her height of 1.56 meters, she looks very young. As for Ji Yu Shuyi, the president of the animation club, she is a perfect image of a royal sister. She is over 1.7 meters tall and has a strong aura. But those who are familiar with her know that she looks like a cold royal sister on the outside, but in reality she is a middle school girl who loves anime. These three girls are all influential figures in Binhai University. Every year when the clubs recruit new members, many people try to sign up for them in the corresponding clubs. Their looks are quite impressive. A film crew came to the school to film a movie before and accidentally saw them and wanted to discover them to become stars. This proves from the side that their appearance is indeed the kind of celebrity face. There are so many beauties in the land of China, and there are many amateurs who are prettier than those so-called celebrities. It's just that the entertainment industry is too deep, so the three girls finally declined the director and continued to study in school. At that time, this matter was very popular on the forum. There are five major beauties in the school, but it is just a private list. Lin Shiching and these three presidents were among them. The last school beauty is an old acquaintance of Su Jae. Ex-girlfriend Shu Ru. Shu Ru's appearance is still impeccable. Arriving at the school, Yi Wei parked the car at the gate. 
Miss, we're here, do you really don't need me to take you inside? No, I can just go in by myself. Lin Shiqing waved her hand and then said. By the way, miss, remember to take an umbrella. Yi Wei reminded. Umbrella, will it rain today? Su Jie took a look and saw a black umbrella on the right side. That's for blocking the sun. Lin Shiqing explained. When Su Jie woke up from his dream, he almost forgot that Lin Shiqing was a vampire. Hey, from the outside, I really can't tell that she is a vampire, there is no difference at all from a normal person. Then the two got out of the car. The early morning sunlight passed through the gaps in the leaves and shone on Lin Shiqing's body. This made her frown, but the sun didn't cause any harm to her body, it just made her feel slightly uncomfortable. In addition, Lin Shiqing's strength will be greatly reduced if she is exposed to sunlight. Lin Shiqing held up her black umbrella and stood beside the car. Su Jie also got out of the car. When the students who were up to no good saw Lin Shiqing, they quickly raised their mobile phones and started taking pictures. Lin Shiqing didn't come to school very often. Every time she came, many people would take pictures. Many students in the school were very interested in this beautiful and wealthy daughter who passed the exam with high scores even though she didn't attend much class. Lin Shiqing frowned when she saw someone taking pictures. Then she looked in the direction of the crowd. As if they were aware of Lin Shiqing's cold gaze, the students who were taking pictures quickly put away their mobile phones. I have to say that Lin Shiqing really knows how to control her momentum. Just one look has a lot of power. Let's go. Su Jie walked over and said. Yeah, Lin Shiqing said lightly, and then walked into the school with Su Jie. After walking for less than 10 minutes, the two arrived at the teaching building. Because they studied different majors, the classrooms they attended were not on the same floor. Su Jiji's major is computer science, while Lin Shiqing's major is ancient literature. The content of learning can be said to be quite different. Su Jie's major was originally chosen by his family, who said he would get a good salary as soon as he graduated. In fact, it is true. The starting salary of being a coder is indeed high. He is prone to hair loss and is extremely smart at a young age. The two entered the teaching building and went to their respective classrooms. Wait until the second class to meet again. Su Jie looked at the students coming and going in front of him, and for a moment he felt like he was in another world. It's been a long time since you came to school. Do you still miss this familiar feeling? Su Jie's first class this morning is advanced mathematics. The course of high school mathematics is neither difficult nor easy. The key is to make good use of class time and master the content taught by the teacher. In universities, teachers basically write exams on their own. Therefore, there is a high probability that the key points mentioned by the teacher in class will appear on the test paper. Once you master the key points, passing the exam will be easy. Even if you can't get high marks in the exam, it's still easy to pass. A V E R T I S E M E N T. As soon as Su Jie entered the classroom, he saw Zhang Zilin. Zhang Zilin is a familiar friend of his in the class. In college, even if you are a major, you are not necessarily familiar with it. More can only be described as casual acquaintances. There are many classmates from all over the world. Su Jie has taken classes with them for several semesters, but he still doesn't know their names. Zhang Zilin is a bit fat and likes to play an open world game called Yuanshan. In addition to playing Yuanshan, he also likes to watch anime. It's full of various buffs. All in all, he is a somewhat two dimensional otaku. Several times before, Su Jie wanted to invite him to participate in some multi person activities, but he refused. According to him, how can these three dimensional girls be as fragrant as his two dimensional wife? Sure enough, Su Jie walked behind Zhang Zilin and saw that this guy was indeed playing with his soul. Although he has already reached the grassroots stage, and the content of the current version has basically graduated, he still enjoys the daily commissions. Still playing, is this game really that fun? To be honest, Su Jie didn't quite understand. Maybe he himself is not the audience for this kind of game. Hearing Su Jie's voice, Zhang Zilin was startled and turned around quickly. Su Jie, you are finally back. After being away for half a month, Zhang Zilin felt that Su Jie had become more handsome for some reason. His posture is also more muscular, and his muscles seem to be bigger. Is this an illusion? 
Ha ha, long time no see. Su Jie sat down next to Zhang Zilin. I thought you failed, you haven't come to class for so long. Su Jie glanced helplessly at Zhang Zilin. Can't you hope for me to be better? Okay, okay, then I guess you were picked up by a rich woman and you saved yourself decades of detours, so it doesn't matter whether you come to school or not. Am I right? Su Jie was stunned. Zhang Zilin actually guessed it right. Although I didn't completely guess it right. You are not really right. Zhang Zilin said in surprise, hugging Su Jie's arm, my good brother, you have achieved enlightenment by yourself, don't forget me. You kid, stop making blind guesses. I'm dating a vampire these days. Su Jie said in a deep voice. TCH, you might as well say you went to cultivate immortality. Zhang Zilin sneered. Forget it if you don't believe it. Su Jie shrugged. The world is like this, sometimes if you tell the truth, no one will believe it. Zhang Zilin continued to look at the phone screen and played with his soul. Seeing how obsessed he was, Su Jie couldn't help but ask, is this game really fun? I think it's quite fun anyway. Zhang Zilin answered while tapping the screen. By the way, there's something. Zhang Zilin said suddenly. Um, Su Jie looked at Zhang Zilin warily. Every time something is said, it is definitely not good. Could it be borrowing money? Su Jie guessed. As long as there is something, 99% of the time it is borrowing money. Yes, Zhang Zilin said with a sad look on his face, my luck is really bad this time. I have had several guarantees in a row, and my living expenses for this month have basically been covered. You can't just ignore me, help me. Quote, Zhang Zilin said pitifully. You are so good. You actually spent all your living expenses just to draw cards. I really admire you. I'll lend you 1,000, is that enough? Quote, although Su Jie now has a lot of money, his brother is still settling the accounts. He cannot be like that kind of nouveau riche who just throws a bunch of money to others. Before that, Zhang Zilin often borrowed money from Su Jie, but he always borrowed money and repaid it. Therefore, when Zhang Zilin opens his mouth, Su Jie will lend it to him without hesitation. Thank you, Brother Jay, you are my god. After receiving the money, Zhang Zilin picked up his phone again and immersed himself in the world of Yuanshan. There was still some time before class started, so Su Jie had nothing to do and opened the school forum. There are many sections on the school's forum, and students from our school like to post on them. What he didn't expect was that he actually saw his photo on a post. In the photo, he is standing next to the big G, and in the front right is Lin Shiqing holding a black umbrella. It was that scene in the morning. With this photo, I'm afraid many people will start gossiping again. But this was also within Su Jie's expectation. After all, Lin Shiqing was the school beauty, and he had a relatively close relationship with her, so it was normal to have some gossip. By the way, Su Jie, this is the first period of Master Miji's class. It's absolutely miserable for you. After skipping so many classes, she will definitely give you a good beating. Zhang Zilin said with some sympathy. Su Jie was noncommittal upon hearing this. Senior mathematics teacher Zhu Mengying was the teacher who called him before, but he finally hung up. At that time, Zhu Mengying was hung up on the phone and she was so angry that she stormed off. Among the teachers, she had the biggest temper, so she was jokingly called the master of extinction by her students. Su Jie didn't care. Yi Wei should have already said hello to the school. He wouldn't worry about what Zhu Mengying would do to him. He said he was not panic at all, and even looked forward to it. I'm afraid there aren't many people in the whole school who can toughen the teacher, right? Jingle bell. The school bell rang and Zhu Mengying walked into the classroom. When she saw Su Jie at the back of the classroom, her pupils began to tremble. The scene when the department head came to see her a week ago quickly appeared in her mind. The dean of the department told her not to embarrass Su Jie. Su Jie was related to the school's largest director. If she wanted to find trouble with Su Jie, even he wouldn't be able to save Zhu Mengying. Zhu Mengying was completely dumbfounded. As an older teacher, she had seniors and juniors. Losing her job would have a huge impact on her life. She had no choice but to endure it. Sighing in her heart, Zhu Mengying lowered her head and pretended not to see Su Jie. Unable to get the sand out of her eyes, she finally bowed her head. Next, 
let's talk about the general solution of the second-order homogeneous linear differential equation with constant coefficients, and the steps to solve the equation similar to y, plus i, plus by equals zero. Zhang Zilin was particularly shocked when he saw that Zhu Mengying did not find anything to do with Su Jie and started teaching directly. I'll go, what's going on, you're okay. Zhang Zilin looked at Su Jie as if he had seen a ghost. Low key, low key. The corners of Su Jie's mouth turned up slightly, but he didn't explain. I don't believe it. She probably won't bother you until after class. Zhang Zilin didn't believe it. Maybe she didn't notice you either. Hey, you're still so stubborn. Su Jie smiled and shook his head, confident. Zhu Mengying's teaching ability is average. As an old teacher, she has been unable to adapt to the development of the times over the years. Her teaching methods are also a bit old. Her lectures are extremely boring. Listening to her class is very helpful for sleeping. Su Jie slept very well last night, and he was still a vampire. He shouldn't have felt sleepy at first, but at this moment, he was still groggy and almost fell asleep. High math is really boring. However, with the improvement of his attributes, his learning efficiency is now much higher. Just listen to a few sentences and you will completely understand a knowledge point. Su Jie couldn't help but think that if he went back to high school to prepare for the college entrance examination, with the learning ability given by his current mental strength, it would not be difficult for him to go to Peking University and Tsinghua University. In class, most students are playing with their mobile phones. In addition, there are many couples sitting together, holding hands from time to time, and talking quietly together. Zhu Mengying usually turns a blind eye to such situations. She will only scold students unless they go too far and their actions are too obvious. There are too many students in a lecture theater. If we insist on getting the best of them, I am afraid we will have to spend more than half of each class on discipline. That was really tiring. Although Zhu Mengying is strict, she is not stupid. The most she can do is check attendance, and at the same time catch some people who are too blatantly playing with their mobile phones to serve as a warning to others. Just passable on the surface. Su Jie really went too far before, openly provoking her and hanging up her phone, which made her so angry. At this time, it was time for classes in teaching building 302, and there were three beautiful girls with their own characteristics sitting next to Lin Xicheng. They are Lin Xicheng's best friends in school. It can be called a girlfriend group. They are Kui Xiaoxi, the president of the Korean Dance Club, Ji Yu Shui, the president of the Animation Club, and Yi Exner, the president of the Home Dance Club. As soon as the three people sat together, they attracted a lot of people's attention. Many boys in the same class quickly took pictures and told their friends to come over quickly. After all, it's really uncommon to get together like this. It's very eye-catching just to look at it. Xiao Qingqing, I really miss you after not seeing you for so long. Yi Exner, the president of the house dance club, has a baby face, but her figure is unexpectedly good and has even reached D. She hugged Lin Xiqing's arm and rubbed it in her arms, leaving Lin Xiqing quite speechless. What's the matter with you? I thought I was very big, but I didn't expect that I feel a little inferior to you here. Lin Xiqing has always been relatively confident about her figure, but with Yi Exner, she knew she was no match. No way, Xiao Qingqing, you are also very big. Yi Exner's soft and waxy voice is so cute that she can even become a voice actress. If an ordinary boy were treated like this, he would probably be offended a long time ago. Kui Xiaoxi and Ji Yu Shuyi on the side asked, By the way, Xi Qing, you haven't come to school during this time. What have you been doing? Lin Xi Qing replied, Actually, I didn't do much, I just went back to my hometown. By the way, how are you and that Su Jie? We've all heard that you asked for his WeChat account half a month ago. How far have you talked now? Yi Exner came over and asked Gossiping Road. Lin Xiqing gave Yi Exner a slap in the face without hesitation. Children are not allowed to pry into adults' affairs. Yi Exner's eyes were suddenly filled with tears. Combined with her soft and cute face and lowly figure, she looked pitiful. But Lin Xiqing would not do this. She added, Take back your tears. Yi Exner pouted. Xiao Qingqing, I don't like you anymore. Lin Xiqing paused, and then said, Ahem, I called you here today. Actually, I also want to introduce you to someone who will join us in the future. Well, 
she is considered a male best friend. Quote, best friend, Yi Exner's eyes suddenly widened. Kui Xiaoxi and Ji Yu Xiyi were also surprised. You actually found a male best friend. Let me guess, is it Su Jae? Su Jae and the others have also seen it. After all, when Su Jae became famous with the help of short videos, they all saw that video. Although he has passed away now, you can still recognize him if you see him on the road. Ji Yu Shuyi adjusted his eyes and said, In my opinion, this male best friend is a beam of light to you. This reminds me of the TV drama, Welcome to NHK. This TV drama is about the relationship between the male protagonist and the redemption of the heroine is really touching. Kui Xiaoxi said speechlessly from the side, You really deserve to be from the animation club, you can think of anime about everything. Lin Shiqing had always been relatively withdrawn before, but now that she got to know them, she became more lively. Ji Yu Shu also thinks that Lin Shiqing belongs to the kind of wealthy daughter who has a lot of money but lacks love. She still thinks so to this day. Moreover, Lin Shiqing has not been in love yet, and although Ji Yu Shu Yi has not been in love either, she deliberately does not want to do so because she prefers a two-dimensional husband, which is somewhat similar to Zhang Zilin. Although Yi Exner is from the home dance club and is relatively soft and cute, she can only be regarded as half a two-dimensional person and has not watched many TV dramas. Moreover, she also likes three-dimensional boys and is not interested in two-dimensional paper people. Big. Kui Xiaoxi is a typical academic, very self-disciplined. Although she dances Korean dance, she is very clean and self-sufficient and never goes to nightclubs or other bad places. There were many boys who chased her in the school, but she didn't like them. The Bai Yugong in her heart was a senior. He was already a doctoral candidate in the school and he was very mature. Kui Xiaoxi is a typical, very interested in boys with high IQs, and also appreciates more mature people. She fell in love once when she was in high school, but that was an old story, and she only fell in love when she was very naive. That experience has almost disappeared in her memory. All in all, among the four people present, except for Yi Exner who has a partner, the other three are still single. As for Yi Exner's partner, it seems to be a member of the house dance club, or a junior student, and the other three have never met. The three of them all wanted to meet Yi Exner's partner, but Yi Exner kept pushing them away, which made them very helpless. Faced with the speculations of her three best friends, Lin Shiqing remained noncommittal and smiled mysteriously. After class, I'll take you there, and you'll know who it is. As the bell rang, a group of four people, headed by Lin Shiqing, walked to 410, which was Su Jie's classroom. Arriving at the door of Su Jie's classroom, Lin Shiqing quickly saw Su Jie's figure. After being away from class for a while, she actually missed him a little bit. This made Lin Shiqing a little confused. Maybe she really fell in love with Su Jie. Ah this. Her thoughts were jumping left and right, and Lin Shiqing felt that she was gradually falling. After seeing Su Jie's figure, the three best friends suddenly showed knowing smiles. Sure enough, I guessed it right. Zhang Zilin's eyes next to Su Jie were distracted and suddenly froze. He saw a familiar person. President, he stood up and waved to Ji Yu Shu Yi. Ji Yu Shu was also very surprised when he saw Zhang Zilin. After the six people reunited, Ji Yu Shuyi asked, Zhang Zilin, why are you here? Of course it's a class, President, what are you doing here? Aren't you from the grammar department? Zhang Zilin smiled, and then said with a naive smile. Su Jie was not surprised when he saw the two chatting enthusiastically. When the club was recruiting new members, Zhang Zilin directly chose the animation club, and that's how he met Ji Yu Shuyi. Because both of them are two-dimensional, there are many topics to talk about. From the recently popular TV series to two-dimensional games such as Azure Lane, Genshin, and Bounce, the two have gradually become good partners. And Zhang Zilin has also become the mainstay of the animation club. He will promote it every year when the club recruits new members. Lin Shiqing asked Ji Yu Shuyi, do you know each other? Ji Yu Shuyi nodded, yes, his name is Zhang Zilin. He is from our club. He and I have known each other since our freshman year. We are quite familiar with each other, right? Su Jie had met Ji Yu Shuyi several times with Zhang Zilin before. To be honest, he quite liked this girl, 
but he knew that he was not the kind of person who was obsessed with the second dimension, so he didn't think about it at all. I had contact with Ji Yu Shuyi. There is no topic to talk about, and the things they like are different. It would be very awkward to contact them deliberately. Lin Shiqing nodded, and then said to the three sisters on the side, This is Su Jie, you should all know her. When Su Jie saw these three girls, no, perhaps it would be more appropriate to call them Lin Shiqing's best friend group. The quality was really high. Basically all the most beautiful girls in the school are here. Su Jie, let me introduce you. This is Yi Exner, the president of the Jai Dance Club. This is Kui Shaoshi, the president of the Korean Dance Club. As for Ji Yu Shuyi, you should know him. Isn't he familiar with your friend? After a brief introduction to both parties, Su Jie briefly said hello. He also suddenly understood that Lin Shiqing said she came to school to find some books, but she actually wanted to meet her best friends, right? But yes, after not seeing each other for more than half a month, it's normal to come over and keep in touch. Since the six people met, they divided into two groups. One group is Su Jie and Lin Shiqing, as well as Kui Shaoxi and Yi Exner. The other group is Zhang Zilin and his president Ji Yu Shuyi. Hey, have you watched the recent show? It's very good. Although the male protagonist has a relatively miserable life experience, he later took revenge. All those who bullied him before were retaliated. It's such a cool show. Zhang Zilin said excitedly. Ji Yu Shuyi had a strange look on his face. Don't you like the more slutty ones? Why do you suddenly like this kind of cool ones? Ahem, President, don't talk nonsense. I'm a gentleman. I only read Reply Warlock after being recommended by others. I don't usually read that kind of thing. Zhang Zilin quickly argued. Su Jie helplessly watched the two of them chatting enthusiastically, and for those who didn't know, he thought they were discussing their illness. Both of them were seriously ill. Kui Shaoxi blinked and looked at Su Jie. I have only seen you on short videos before. Today is the first time I see you. As expected, you are much prettier in person than in the video. Before Su Jie became a vampire, his skin was actually averagely smooth, with many large pores. However, as he became a vampire and his attribute points increased, his skin became much smoother. Any woman would be envious of skin like this. In addition, the current mainstream aesthetic is fair and thin, and Su Jie occupies two of them. He is fair and thin, so it is normal to be liked and attract attention. Thank you. Su Jie nodded and smiled. Yi Exner on the side said enviously. Xiao Qingqing, it would be great if my boyfriend was as handsome as your boyfriend. Lin Shiqing was stunned when she heard this, and then quickly defended. Su Jie and I are just friends, don't talk nonsense. Yi Exner and Kui Shaoxi looked at Lin Shiqing together. His eyes were full of disbelief. Lin Shiqing turned to look at Su Jie speechlessly. Okay, let's get down to business. In fact, tonight is a joint party for several dance clubs in the school. The piano accompanist originally appointed is temporarily unavailable, so he can't come over. So, Su Jie, it's time for you to perform. Su Jie was a little confused when he heard Lin Shiqing's words. Although he plays the piano well, he has never played in public. Isn't it a bit inappropriate to let him play on stage like this? No, if you want to dance, wouldn't it be better to use the pre-made background sound? Do you need to hire a piano accompaniment? Su Jie said a little doubtfully. That's true, but in order to pursue a better performance, the whole party was accompanied by a band. In addition to the piano, there were also drums, guitars, basses, cellos, and violins. So professional, Su Jie said in surprise. Of course, this is a party that has been planned for a long time, and it must be perfect. In addition, in addition to Korean dance clubs, home dance clubs, there are also classical dance clubs, ethnic dance clubs, and several other types of dances. A lot, Yi Exner explained helpfully. I understand, it turns out that I am a tool man. But Su Jie couldn't shirk it, so he had to say, then I'll give it a try. If I don't play well, don't mind. It's okay, Kui Shaoxi said quickly. She silently remembered the message Lin Shiqing sent her two days ago. Lin Shiqing asked her to hold a dance party and sponsored a large sum of money, but the requirement was that an accompaniment group was needed. The accompaniment group must have all the instruments, but there could be no piano. She said that someone was coming to play the piano, eh? 
master, specially invited by her. Now she looked at Su Jie in front of her and understood everything immediately. It turned out that Lin Shiqing specially asked a group of people to accompany him in playing music and dancing for Su Jie. Why, it seems that Lin Shiqing really likes Su Jie. It just seems like, is this Lin Shiqing's secret love? Neither of them has made it clear yet that they are officially together. Oops, things are getting really interesting. The group did not get together at noon, but agreed to rush to the rehearsal lecture hall in the afternoon and do some running in. Lin Shiqing's three best friends are actually very strange, because they have never had dinner with Lin Shiqing since they met her. No matter what time it is, as long as she is invited to dinner, she will not accept it. But maybe this is a quirk of rich people. They really don't understand the world of rich people. Su Jie and Lin Shiqing chose a private theater to rest at noon. They ordered a comedy and sat together eating popcorn. To be honest, I have never performed on stage before, so it is quite challenging for me to suddenly perform on stage. Su Jie said helplessly. Lin Shiqing looked at Su Jie after hearing this. Actually, you play the piano really well. It would be a shame if you didn't perform on stage. Lin Shiqing was still very optimistic about Su Jie. The scene of Su Jie playing piano music for him last time was still vivid in her mind. As for why she asked Su Jie to be an accompanist on stage, she wanted to find a valid reason to listen to Su Jie play the piano. The most important thing is that the dance music for this party was all specified by Lin Shiqing, and it was basically all piano dance music. This also means that other musical instruments can only play a decorative role at most, and Su Jie mainly has to play them. Lin Shiqing couldn't help but ask Su Jie to play the piano. She felt like she fell in love with him playing the piano. Well, that's true though. But her heart didn't allow her to do this. She would rather find a reason to listen to Su Jie playing the piano. She didn't want to express her feelings for Su Jie too actively, otherwise she would be rejected, how embarrassing it would be. Of course, she felt that Su Jie would definitely not reject her, right? Lin Shiqing, who had not been exposed to love yet, turned her head and looked at Su Jie's profile. When will you express your feelings for me? If you confess your love to me, I will be reserved for a few days at most, and I will definitely agree to it. Why, but we've only known each other for half a month, and being together so early, doesn't it seem like we're easy to follow? Lin Shiqing was conflicted again. No matter, it would be nice to hear him play the piano at night. Su Jie had no idea about Lin Shiqing's inner drama. He was concentrating on the movie in front of him and laughing out loud from time to time. This comedy is really interesting. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. In the afternoon, Su Jie and Lin Shiqing went to the rehearsal lecture hall together. In fact, Kui Shaoxi, Yi Exner and Ji Yu Shuyi had already noticed that the two of them were inseparable. None of them stayed with Lin Shiqing at noon, only Su Jie stayed by her side. This already explains a big problem. Xiao Qingqing, you're here. Yi Exner gave Lin Shiqing a big hug. Although Lin Shiqing looked disgusted, she still gave him a gentle hug in return. This little loli is really cute. Well, is there any dance music tonight? I have to practice in advance. Su Jie asked Kui Shaoxi. Kui Shaoxi had already prepared the dance music score and handed it to Su Jie. There are 17 dance pieces in total, 15 of which are piano dance pieces, more classical. Take a look. Su Jie asked in surprise, huh, isn't it Korean dance or house dance? Why are they basically piano dance music? As for this, the main theme of this dance is piano dance music, so. Kui Shaoxi explained reluctantly. It can't be said that this was specially designated by Lin Shiqing, the sponsor. They just want to hear you play the piano. Su Jie was speechless. Now, his workload would be really heavy. The lecture hall for the performance was large and the stage space was sufficient. Su Jie looked around and saw many people preparing for the evening performance. Kui Shaoxi secretly thought that what Lin Shiqing did was like making a meal of dumplings just to drink a little vinegar. In order to hear Su Jie play the piano, he not only hired a professional performance group, but also hired a group of girls from the dance academy to dance with him. There was really no one else. Maybe the life of rich people is so simple, simple and boring. Kong Hao, Su Jie looked at the guitarist and said in surprise. When he was a freshman, 
Su Jae joined the school's music club and met many like-minded friends there. Kong Hao is one of them. He plays the guitar very well and was even the fingerstyle champion of Binhai City. Su Jae. Kong Hao also recognized Su Jae at a glance. He stood up, about 1.75 meters tall, with a literary and artistic appearance. His medium long hair was smooth and elegant, with a light fragrance. When I was in the music club, many little girls liked Kang Hao's model very much and secretly expressed their affection for it. But three years after college, he is still single and has never found a partner. Long time no see. Su Jae patted Kong Hao on the shoulder. I really didn't expect to meet him here. Long time no see. Kong Hao smiled and nodded. Lin Shiqing noticed this scene and walked over. Su Jae, is this your friend? Lin Shiqing asked. Yes, this is Kong Hao. He plays the guitar very well. We have known each other since our freshman year. Su Jae introduced Lin Shiqing. So that's it. Kong Hao looked at Lin Shiqing, who had blonde hair shawl, face like snow, face like the moon, autumn cut eyes, and an elegant aristocratic atmosphere. He must know Lin Shiqing. She is a cool school beauty who is highly discussed on the school forum. Many people take photos of Lin Shiqing. Hello, Lin Shiqing. Kong Hao greeted generously. At the same time, I thought to myself, could this Lin Shiqing be Su Jie's girlfriend? I really can't say for sure. She just said a few words to Su Jie and she came up to him. What does this mean? It means that they must have a good relationship. You know me. Lin Shiqing asked in surprise. Is there anyone in our school who doesn't know you? Kong Hao smiled. Su Jie echoed from the side. Indeed, Shiqing, you are very popular on our school forum. As long as you come to school, many photos of you will be posted on the forum. Lin Shiqing said helplessly, I am also drunk. Every time I come to school, many people take secret photos of me. I don't know why. What else could be the reason? The daughter of a rich family and the beauty of a school. These two identities overlap, so it is normal for her to attract attention. Su Jie analyzed. The nature of human beings is boredom. When they are bored, they want to peek into other people's lives. This is why many people like to watch celebrity gossip. Kong Hao heard Su Jie call Lin Shiqing, poetic, and felt that he had discovered something extraordinary. The relationship between these two people is definitely extraordinary. By the way, Su Jie, are you the master pianist today? We were discussing just now that a master was coming to play the piano. I thought about it, couldn't it be you? When I was a freshman, many girls came to you for piano lessons. Quote. Su Jie heard this and said humbly, what master? If I were the master, then you would be the master's master. Lin Shiqing listened, but couldn't help but murmur in her heart. Just now Kong Hao said that many girls are looking for Su Ji Ji to play the piano. This is not possible. Su Jie could only teach himself how to play the piano. Frowning slightly, Lin Shiqing planned to find an opportunity to ask later. The core of a performance group is not the piano, the king of instruments, but the strings. Among the string instruments, the violin is the most resonant and has the highest frequency. So in this performance, the violinist is very important. Although most of the dance music this time is piano dance music, it still needs other musical instruments as embellishments. One instrument is still too monotonous. Just like a person singing a cappella without any accompaniment, the effect will definitely not be very good. Under the leadership of Kong Hao, Su Jie said hello to the musicians of the orchestra. Kong Hao had a deep love for guitar and always wanted to further his studies. So when he was in the music club, he participated in many band activities outside of school, and finally officially joined a band part-time as a guitarist. Compared with Kong Hao, Su Jie is like a salted fish. He has little interest in improving the piano instrument. To maintain his current level, it is enough to be able to read music and play some music. There is no need to embarrass himself and strive for excellence. He doesn't want to be a pianist in the future, just playing music to cultivate his sentiments is enough. Su Jie has always believed in a saying, that is, if you treat your hobby as a career, your interest in this hobby will only gradually fade away, and you may even become disgusted. Making a living is painful. When a hobby aims to make money, it is no longer pure. Kong Hao's family is rich. He joins the band just to play music and doesn't care about the salary at all. 
Su Jie's family is not a wealthy one, and he had to consider his future job. With his heavy studies, he had to give up playing the piano. But all this has quietly changed 180 degrees from the moment he awakened the system. This is the violinist, Liu Chiran. Kong Hao introduced. Su Jie's eyes lit up. It's not because Liu Chiran is beautiful, but because Su Jie has met her before. But I just took a look at it from a distance. Liu Chiran looked like the milk tea girl, and she was quite popular on the school forum at that time. There are also many boys who have posted a lot of confessions, but in the end they have not received any reply. Hello, Su Jie greeted. Liu Chiran nodded. Hello. Although Lin Shiqing stood in the distance, chatting with Yi Exner and Kui Shaoxi, she had actually been distracted for a long time and kept looking towards Su Jie pretending to be unintentional. Um, why are you talking to a pretty girl? How can this be done? When Kui Shaoxi noticed this scene, she couldn't help but want to laugh. After coughing, she said, Shi Qing, if you are thinking about your Su Jie, just go over there. Your eyes keep squinting that way. I'm afraid that if you stay for a long time, your eyes will become slanted. Lin Shiqing, who was exposed, quickly defended when she heard this, Shaoxi, I was just looking at you casually, don't talk nonsense. Kui Shaoxi saw from the perspective of a bystander that Lin Shiqing's jealousy had reached a peak. But that's right, the most obvious manifestation of loving someone is wanting to possess him or her. Anyone of the opposite gender, or even the same, will cause jealousy when he or she appears next to him or her. Su Jie had a brief contact with the musicians, and then got ready to rehearse with the dancers. There are only a few hours until the evening performance, so we must hurry up. L. There is a first time for everything. As long as you take the first step, the rest will be much easier. Su Jie knows this very well. When he first started working with other musicians in the accompaniment group, he always felt unfamiliar. However, after more than half an hour of working together, they had already developed a much better understanding. The dancers at this party have basically rehearsed in advance, that is, using some recorded accompaniments for simulation training. The dancers are basically all girls, from the dance department of Binhai University. They have been practicing since childhood and are able to master various styles of dance. Su Jie's fingers tapped on the keys, and the drums and guitar cooperated tacitly. Modern dance music always likes to let drums and electric guitars serve as the main melody, and what is missing is an electronic DJ. To be honest, Su Jie was not very interested in this kind of loud music. He prefers the kind of beautiful piano music that is as tender as water and as smooth as dreams. This is what drives him to practice piano all the time. His piano skills are still there, and Su Jie's playing seems to be with ease. As the melodious sound of the piano and the sounds of other musical instruments complement each other, the girls on the stage began to dance gracefully. To become a dancer, the most important thing is not to be too short. If you are too short, your figure will be ugly. Therefore, the girls dancing on the stage are at least about 1.7 meters tall. Such a height may make many boys feel ashamed. And girls generally have smaller heads, so their body proportions will be better. If a man and a woman are both 1.7 meters tall, at first glance, people tend to think that girls are taller. Su Jie had no intention of admiring their dancing. He was focused on clicking the notes accurately one by one according to the music score. It's not enough to click accurately. Anyone who has studied piano knows that there are even dynamics, speed, and even expression marks on the piano score. For example, PP pianissimo represents the weakest percussion, and speed adagio represents adagio. It's quite complicated. Lin Shiqing was sitting in the audience, her eyes suddenly fixed on Su Jie. Although there was no light shining on him, she felt that Su Jie was shining. All the light on the stage is on the dancing dancers, and those dazzling lights make their figures more eye-catching. At this moment, Lin Shiqing felt that these dancing girls were taking over the spotlight. She wanted to hear Su Jie play the piano, not watch them dance. Frowning slightly, she patted Kui Shaoxi on the shoulder. Shaoxi, go talk to the lighting engineer and put more light on the stage around the accompaniment group, especially the piano. Kui Shaoxi was stunned for a moment, but the next moment she understood what Lin Shiqing meant, and she nodded with a smile. Okay, then I'll go over there. At Kui Shaoxi's urging, 
the lighting engineer dispersed the lights, and the accompaniment group became brighter. Su Jie's piano was in the middle of the accompaniment group, which was the C position. After noticing the light pouring down, he was suddenly a little surprised. Isn't this light for dancing? What are you doing as an accompanist? Lin Shiqing was happy. She watched the light flowing on Su Jie's body, and her eyes stopped moving and settled on him. Although the dancing girls were a little strange, they didn't take it to heart. There is no other reason, just because the money is enough. This performance was not to generate electricity for love. When Lin Shiqing found someone to dance with, she had already agreed, giving each person 1,000 yuan. 1,000 yuan is not a small amount of money to allow a college student with little stage experience to rehearse and perform in a show. So these girls have been rehearsing hard. At the same time, they can also get some fun from dancing. Stretch your body and sweat will fall from your shoulders. The exercise itself can make people happy. As long as you give money, you can do whatever you ask. During this hour, Su Jie's fingers kept flying on the keys. Because these dance songs all have piano parts, unlike other musicians, they can take a break from time to time. For example, a dance song may contain some guitar and drum parts, so the musicians who control these instruments must rehearse together. But the next dance song only involves violin and bass, so the guitar and drum players can rest. Only Su Jie didn't rest during the entire journey. He had a feeling that this was like a piano solo performance for him, with everyone else as a foil. Finally able to take a rest, Su Jie stood up and had been sitting on the piano chair, his body a little stiff. Violinist Lu Chiran walked over with stars in his eyes. Senior Su, you play the piano so well. She meant what she said. She had worked part-time in many musical groups before and knew many pianists. But without exception, none of them can compare to Su Jie in terms of pitch and rhythm. Su Jie smiled slightly. No way, don't make fun of me. He said this on the surface, but it still made sense to him in his heart. Being praised like this by a beautiful girl will not make any man feel uneasy. It has to be said that Su Jie's current piano level has been greatly improved compared to before. This is due to the huge improvement in his various attributes, especially his mental attributes. The most remarkable thing about the mental attribute is that it allows Su Jie to multitask. With the blessing of mental attributes, his brain has been updated and iterated, its running speed has doubled several times, and it can handle multiple tasks easily. My brain is a little itchy. I have a brain. If it had been played before, Su Jie would not have dared to say that he could play all the dance music without making mistakes. Senior Su, I'm serious. You are almost the most powerful pianist I have ever seen. Lu Chiran said seriously, his eyes burning. That's what you said, then where did you put Lang Lang and Li Yundi? They are different, I have never seen them. I have only seen you, so you are the most powerful piano player I have ever seen. Lu Chiran said with a smile, his eyes curved into little crescents, very cute. From the audience seat, Lin Shiqing watched Lu Chiran and Su Jie chatting, and suddenly became uneasy. She was still hesitating whether to go. When I got on it, I felt very possessive, as if Su Jie was my personal belongings. But if she didn't, she felt very uncomfortable. Seemingly seeing through Lin Shiqing's heart, Yi Exner gently patted Lin Shiqing's shoulder. If you really like Su Jie, go ahead. Otherwise, he will really be snatched away by that girl. It will be too late if you regret it by then. Quote, Lin Shiqing looked at Lu Chiran's face. She was indeed beautiful, of course, it was definitely not as good as her own. She still has some confidence. But that girl is so proactive. Isn't it said that a man chases a woman, separated by a mountain, and a woman chases a man, separated by a veil? What if Su Jie couldn't stand the test and fell under that girl's skirt? Lin Shiqing couldn't help feeling a little aggrieved. But she didn't know where this grievance came from. In fact, this is because she cares too much about Su Jie. Under Lu Chiran's praise, Su Jie felt a little elated. Kong Hao on the side saw this scene and decided to add fuel to the fire. Chu Ran, haven't you been single for a long time? Why don't you consider Su Jie and have more contact with you too? Lu Chiran looks very pure like the first love that every man encounters in adolescence. A pair of watery eyes, really cute. After hearing Kong Hao's words, a blush quickly appeared on her cheeks. Senior, 
Please stop making fun of me. Lu Chiran tidied the broken hair around his ears nervously and said sheepishly. Su Jie said quickly, Kong Hao, stop talking nonsense and calm down for a while. Seeing the evil smile on Kong Hao's face, he immediately understood that this kid was deliberately trying to mess with him. Um, Senior Su, Lu Chiran raised his head, can I add you on WeChat? That way I can contact you if I have any piano questions I want to ask you about in the future. Cannot. Before Su J could speak, a cold voice suddenly came from behind. Ah, Su J was stunned. The voice was very familiar. It was clearly Lin Xiqing's voice. Lin Xiqing was wearing a black low V dress today. Under the swaying hem of the skirt, she could see her long, straight, white legs, without any hair, making her extremely hot and on the knees, there is a touch of pink. As her body rose and fell, her transparent gemstone earring swayed from side to side. Lin Xiqing's face showed frost and her aura was in full swing. Su Jie was a little stunned, looking at the scene in front of him, feeling a little separated. Why does it feel like a royal palace facing a green tea mistress? Su Jie is already my boyfriend, so you can't add his WeChat account. While talking, Lin Xiqing took Su Jie's arm. Su Jie faintly felt that Lin Xiqing's body was shaking a little. Ah, Lu Chiran looked a little flustered. I'm sorry, Senior Su, I didn't know you had a girlfriend, I'm sorry. Lin Xiqing said calmly, It's good that you know now. In this invisible game of swords and guns, Lin Xiqing achieved an overwhelming victory. The momentum is so powerful. The entire performance hall became silent. All eyes were focused on Lin Xiqing and Lu Chiran, as well as Su Jie beside them. Lin Xiqing exerted a little force. Su Jie came to his senses, and with Lin Xiqing's help, the two walked to the small room behind the scenes. As they left, the entire performance hall gradually began to hear voices. Lin Xiqing and Su Jie are really together. Is there still a lie? Didn't it become official just now? I'm really sorry that I didn't have time to record such a wonderful clip just now. Otherwise, if I posted it on the school forum, it would definitely make headlines. I have a friend who likes Lin Xiqing. I was planning to pursue her, but she found someone else. Oh my god, you're probably kidding me. This friend you are talking about is yourself, right? A friend made out of nothing. I quickly told my friend that this is the biggest melon I have eaten this week. Zhang Zilin and Ji Yu Shuyi, who had been chatting about recent dramas and games in the audience, were also dumbfounded. Dear me, I've long noticed that something was wrong with Su Jie, but I didn't expect that he would actually be with Lin Xiqing. This beast is such a blockbuster that he only cries silently. Zhang Zilin sighed. Ji Yu Shuyi said softly, Su Jie is really Lin Xiqing's light. It seems that Su Jie has really become Lin Xiqing's light. Zhang Zilin, whose two-dimensional concentration exceeded the standard, immediately understood Ji Yu Shuyi's Japanese. Zhang Zilin's expression changed for a moment. After a moment, he said, What's the light of my private life? But where is my light? As soon as he said this, Ji Yu Shuyi trembled and couldn't help but look at Zhang Zilin. The two looked at each other. At this moment, the eyes began to collide and confront each other head on, and the affection suddenly became extended. At this moment, in the small room behind the scenes, as soon as Lin Xiqing entered the room, she immediately let go of Su Jie and walked aside. His eyes darted back and forth, not daring to look at Su Jie. She is a vampire and her heart cannot beat, but in such a tense situation, she actually felt that her heart was about to start beating. How outrageous! The same scene as before. She had forgotten how she stepped forward and said those words. I felt a surge of arrogance and walked up, not remembering what I said. Impulse is the devil. Su Jie wanted to laugh a little when he saw this. Lin Xiqing, why does she feel so scared all of a sudden? Ahem, don't get me wrong, I just said those words to avoid something that shouldn't happen between you and that girl. I have to remind you that you are a vampire now and are no longer human. If you have too much contact with another girl, you are hurting her. In order to make that girl give up, I decided to temporarily act as your girlfriend and let her give up. You should thank me. Quote, really, but there is one thing I want to ask you. Does what you just said count? Su Jie looked at Lin Xiqing and wanted to tease her. What's up? Of course you are my girlfriend. You think so beautifully, can I become your girlfriend so easily? 
Don't take it seriously. Lin Shiqing said quickly, her eyes twinkling. I thought to myself, if you confess your love to me, I might be able to agree to be your girlfriend. I don't want to chase you down, I will be very embarrassed. Su Jie then smiled. So what you mean is that you don't want me to take it seriously, but you want so many people outside to take it seriously. Ah, Lin Shiqing was stunned, and a look of thought appeared on her face. That's more or less it. From now on in school, you will be my boyfriend, but in private, we are not a couple. Lin Shiqing thought for a while and then said, Okay, then we will start performing from now on. As Su Jie spoke, he took Lin Shiqing's soft little hand. Immediately he opened the door to the small room. What are you doing? Lin Shiqing asked in confusion, trying to take her hand out of Su Jie's. We don't even hold hands, how can we be taken seriously by so many people outside? Su Jie said carefully. After listening to Su Jie's words, Lin Shiqing felt that what he said made sense. So she stopped pulling out and felt the wrapping of Su Jie's broad palm. Um, no wonder Xiao Fen likes to let Su Jie rub its head with his hands. There is indeed a very peaceful feeling when wrapped in such a palm. Su Jie led Lin Shiqing to the stage. The light just hit the two of them. The two of them were shrouded in light, shining brightly. Su Jie smiled and held Lin Shiqing's hand tightly. Lin Shiqing on the side was held by a boy for the first time. Standing in front of so many people, she felt a little embarrassed and didn't know what to do to express herself. Her mind was surging, and she continued to maintain her usual cold demeanor. She relaxed a lot under the embrace of Su Jie's palm. Many students who had missed taking pictures just now raised their mobile phones. Just like a press conference, many photos were taken of Su Jie and Lin Shiqing. Some of these photos were posted on forums, while others were forwarded to many school groups. Su Jie is tall and straight, delicate and handsome, while Lin Shiqing is graceful and charming. 360 degrees of handsomeness and beauty with no blind spots. It was like the prince and princess in the fairy tale broke through the dimensional wall and stood on the stage. Su Jie didn't care about the students' comments. He understood deeply that ever since he established the system and became a vampire, he would spend his time with one person even in the distant future. Apart from Lin Shiqing, there is no other choice for that person. When night came, Su Jie felt much better. It should be because there is no sun to suppress the energy in the body, and the surging blood can flow throughout the body. He was behind the scenes at this moment, in half an hour, the party would begin. After Lin Shiqing's official announcement, in the afternoon, the violinist, the girl who looked exactly like the milk tea sister, Lu Chiran, never spoke to Su Jie again. Su Jie glanced at her a few times during the subsequent rehearsal in the afternoon, but found that she had been a little absent-minded, and her pitch when playing the violin was also a lot worse. What happened in the afternoon did not allow her to relax for a while. Kong Hao and Zhang Zilin were in the same league. While they expressed their admiration for Su Jie, they were also envious. After all, Lin Shiqing is not only beautiful, but her family is rich. Simply the best person to be a girlfriend. Zhang Zilin seems to have had a lucky break, or in other words, Lin Shiqing and Su Jie's official announcement made him and Ji Yushui pierce a layer of window paper, and the relationship between the two developed by leaps and bounds. As two-dimensional hardcore people with the same hobbies, their souls are in harmony. So even though Zhang Zilin's appearance is indeed average, a little chubby and his appearance is a little naive, this does not affect Ji Yu Shuyi's liking for him. Sometimes, love can ignore appearance. As long as Ji Yu Shuyi expresses a point of view or makes a joke, Zhang Zilin can completely understand her. The two of them have a lot in common and seem to have endless conversation. When you see an ugly man with a beautiful woman on the street, you always want to think about where you lost. In fact, you really can't just judge people by their appearance. Either you have a big wallet, or you have similar interests and soulmates, it has to be the same. During the second half of the rehearsal, Su Jie discovered that Zhang Zilin and Ji Yu Shuyi had disappeared. After asking Lin Shiqing, I found out that the two of them actually went to a private theater outside to catch up. Maybe these two people could really make it work. Unexpectedly, a year before graduation, Zhang Zilin miraculously became single. Originally, Su Jie had already concluded that for an otaku like Zhang Zilin, 
who watched anime and played mobile games every day, he was destined to be single in college, but he didn't expect that fate would come so quickly. This guy really had his luck. However, after finding a third dimensional wife, Su Jae was skeptical as to whether he still had the money to establish a bond with a second dimensional wife. Anyway, if the three dimensional and two dimensional wives care about one thing and neglect the other, they will definitely be very conflicted. In addition to providing a place for performers to rest, the backstage of the performance hall also serves as a dressing room. Although Su Jae is a boy, he still puts on a layer of makeup. However, his makeup is very different from those of the girls. His makeup is only a light layer and not obvious, mainly to brighten the skin. But in fact, this step is somewhat unnecessary, because Su Jae's skin is so good. Even the makeup artist couldn't help but marvel, this was the most perfect skin she had ever seen. Su Jae briefly browsed the posts on the forum before taking the stage. What interests him is that there are actually many love-minded girls who are making fun of Su Jae and Lin Shiching. There was even a support group established. This is too outrageous, isn't it? The name of the support club is the Philosophical Love Support Club. In the support club, there are paparazzi, who are mainly responsible for secretly filming the daily interactions between Lin Shiching and Su Jae, and there are funders, who provide funds for the paparazzi, and provide financial help for Lin Shiching and Su Jae to hold fan meetings. In addition to these two, there is also the core operation, which is the existence of organizing various activities. Su Jae felt a little numb. Isn't this the way to make a meal circle? On the short video platform, he has some knowledge about the rice circle. For example, Classic remarks, my brother is the best, my brother works so hard, can't you see? You just go ahead and don't eat the eggs my brother lays when the time comes. Single quote. And the fan's voice was very funny after being pranked. The rules of the entertainment industry are that explanation means whitewashing, and failure to explain means acquiescence. Look who the netizens let go. Don't dare to scold, oh. Su Jae was really speechless when it came to making rice circles. He decided to ignore this so-called support group. After a long time, they felt that it was boring, so they stopped. Ready to go on stage. Kong Hao patted Su Jae on the shoulder. The time has come to 7.55. Tonight's performance party will begin at 8 o'clock. Lin Shiching was not backstage. She was sitting in the center of the auditorium with a wide view. Sitting next to them were Yi Exner and Kui Shaoxi. I didn't expect you to be single all of a sudden. I'm really not used to it. Kui Xiaoxi said with a smile. Xiao Qingqing, you are already together, and you were still hiding each other in the morning. This is not interesting for you. Yi Exner said angrily. Lin Shiqing explained. I originally planned to hide it from you. After all, we have just been together. I planned to tell you after we are stable. If there hadn't been that girl asking for Su Jie's WeChat account, I think you would have planned to hide it from us for the rest of your life. Yi Exner snorted. When Kui Xiaoxi saw this, she said, anyway, it's a good thing that Qiqing has a boyfriend. Yi Exner also smiled and said, that's true, I have discovered that with the nourishment of love, love becomes more charming. Lin Qiqing laughed and scolded when she heard this, stop talking nonsense, what a mess, and it's still charming. The three sisters were joking and the time came to 8 o'clock. The entire performance hall suddenly became dark. All the lights are on the stage. The light is divided into two parts, one part is given to the accompaniment group, and the other part is given to the dancers. The audience was overcrowded, and many students came after hearing the news. A large number of the students are boys, and they all cast their eyes on the stage to admire the long legs. The first dance is a classical piano dance. It's called, Gavat Dance. This dance is not long, only less than two minutes, and it is considered a relatively cheerful type. Su Jae was concentrating on playing the piano. Today he was wearing a white suit, and the spotlight shone on him, revealing his almost perfect profile. Many female classmates in the audience looked at Su Jae with starry eyes. The male classmates were paying attention to the dancing girls, adjusting their sitting posture from time to time because they felt uncomfortable. Lin Shiqing looked at Su Jae on the stage, feeling full of accomplishment. She was very proud. Su Jae played so well, and she was also very proud. Now the whole school knows about her relationship with Su Jae. If her boyfriend is talented, 
her girlfriend will also benefit from it and be envied by the female classmates. Lin Shicheng is 180 years old this year. Logically speaking, she shouldn't be so naive, and she still wants to make the girls in the same school envious. There are two main reasons for this. On the one hand, Lin Shiching spent most of the past 180 years sleeping. She is actually very young mentally, and her mentality is not too mature. She still feels like a little girl. On the other hand, in the whirlpool of love, Lin Shiching has been destroyed. A woman in love has zero IQ. This sentence is vividly reflected in Lin Shiching. I have to say that the atmosphere of this party was very good. The dancer's body stretched, and the music played was melodious and sweet. Su J concentrated on expressing his emotions on the piano. Lin Shiching closed her eyes and listened to Su J's piano with a smile. Time passed by minute by minute, and the last dance slowly ended. This also means that the party has come to an end. At this moment, Su J stood up. The host on the side handed him the microphone. The spotlight focused on Su J at this time. The audience in the audience were very puzzled when they saw this, not knowing what Su J wanted to do. Lin Shiching also frowned slightly and looked at Su J doubtfully. Behind Su J, the other musicians of the orchestra and the dancers on the stage walked back in tacit agreement, and under the guidance of Kong Hao, they all stepped off the stage. They went behind the scenes, and next, it would be Su J's home court. Kong Hao looked at Su J's tall, thin and straight back with complicated eyes. He remembered that three years ago, when the club was recruiting new members, Su J burst into his sight in a sunny suit. To be shocking, before meeting Su J, Kong Hao always thought that he was a normal, but after meeting Su J, he actually became a little unsettled. If you meet a rainbow, you will definitely eat it. But he knew clearly that Su J was a real straight man and an invincible, vibranium, level straight man. So he will never show his emotions. And he still doesn't know yet what category his feelings for Su J belong to. Is it that kind of love, or brotherly love? For this reason, he avoided contact with Su J for a long time. But on moments, Duin, Weibo, and many social platforms, Kong Hao has been silently paying attention to Su J's updates. It is enough not to disturb your life, but to watch you from a distance. This is also the reason why he has never found a girlfriend. Because you can't figure out your own orientation, if you find a girlfriend casually, you are being irresponsible to other girls. When he learned that Shu Ru had cheated on Su J, he felt very unhappy, but he had no good solution. Shu Ru is a female sea king who deceived Su J's feelings. This fact makes Kong Hao determined to help Su J's revenge. What he originally wanted was to print Shu Ru's story of cheating on other people's feelings on flyers and distribute them to her family's home, ruining her reputation. After using some online methods of opening boxes, human flesh, and other methods of searching for information, Kong Hao found a lot of information about Shu Ru. But in the end, he was surprised to find that Shu Ru was actually an orphan. She grew up in an orphanage and had no parents since she was a child. She had a bad fate and a miserable life experience. Does this mean that hateful people must be pitiable? However, even if life is rough, this is not a reason to deceive others' feelings, right? In the end, Kong Hao did not calm down and went to the Zhangzhou Welfare Institute where Shu Ru had lived since she was a child to spread the news about her doing whatever it took to get money. As an orphan, it is extremely inspiring to be admitted to Binhai University, the top university in the country, through his own efforts. Shu Ru finally fell. With a pity, Kong Hao, let, Shu Ru pass. Shu Ru and Su J have broken up, as long as Su J is fine in the future. During the afternoon rehearsal, he was very happy to see Su J again. Reunited after a long absence, and seeing Su J again in reality, he wanted to hug him a few times. But to be honest, it's actually quite awkward and abrupt for two grown men to hug each other. He has also changed his mind now, as long as Su J has a good future. If there is anything he needs help with, he will try his best to help. From now on, just become brothers with Su J. Of course, he will remain single until he figures out his orientation. He will always remember every detail of Su J and him in the music club during his freshman and sophomore years. Su J has a girlfriend and Kong Hao is happy for him. You must be happy. The corners of his mouth raised slightly, 
with a blessing in mind, Kong Hao stepped back into the shadows and disappeared. On the stage at this time, Su Jie was holding a microphone, but suddenly felt a little nervous. He remembered something. If one person is nervous on stage, just imagine that everyone in the audience is a big carrot. After a pause, Su Jie felt that the auditorium in front of him was filled with tall, short, and unevenly fat carrots. There is only one person who did not turn into a big carrot. In a sea of white radish, Lin Shiqing's figure appeared. Su Jie looked at her quietly, with a thousand-year glance and a myriad of thoughts. Now he is not nervous at all. There are so many big carrots in the audience, and Lin Shiqing is the only one, why should she be nervous? Hello everyone, I would like to give a song to my girlfriend, Lin Shiqing at the end of this party. The name of this song is, Shall You? Many students suddenly became excited. This is also the normal behavior of most people. When they see others showing affection and sending sweet messages, even though they think to themselves, you really deserve to die, you still can't help but keep watching and sigh, when can I do the same? Su Jie put the microphone on the piano and started playing and singing. There are always some surprising encounters. For example, when I meet you, your gentle and clear eyes appeared in my dream. In the audience, Lin Shiqing covered her mouth in surprise, her eyes trembling. Yi Exner on the side held her hands in front of her chest with an envious look on her face. So romantic, although Kui Xiaoxi advocates and is a little allergic to romance, and is not very interested in this kind of confession scene like playing house for kindergarten children, as a girl, she was still touched. After all, what girl doesn't hope that she can meet her own unparalleled hero and marry her on the colorful clouds? Su Jie's voice is not very pleasant, and is even a little out of tune. There is nothing that can be done about it. After all, vocal music does not get better as the body becomes stronger. The voice will not change due to the increase of attribute points. But the song, Xiao Yu, is still very simple, the key is not high, and it takes no effort to sing. In singing, emotion is the ultimate skill, and technique must serve emotion. As long as the emotion is deep, even if you don't have great skills, you can still make people move. Just like the popular news before, I sang, 10 years, and cried 8K TV ladies. Su Jie's voice was somewhat magnetic, not too deep, and had a youthful tone. Fingers flew and jumped on the keys, and the notes echoed gracefully in the performance hall. During the break between singing, Su Jie would look at Lin Shiqing in the audience from time to time and interact with her eyes. Ah! This is so delicious. Hurry up and shoot it, then cut it into a video and post it to the school forum, and it can be used as a treasure video for our support club. Isn't this much better than eating those so-called celebrity CPs? I'm really crying to death. When can I have a boyfriend like Su Jay? It's still fun to watch other people fall in love. Many enthusiastic fans of the Philosophical Love Support Club started discussions in the audience and he raised his cell phone to get a full shot of Su Jie and Lin Shiqing. Su Jie noticed this scene and was not angry at all. He had to thank these fans for preserving this precious memory for him. After the playing and singing ended, the sound of the last note still echoed, and Su Jie stood up. Backstage, Kong Hao was holding a large bouquet of roses. Seeing that Su Jie had finished his performance, he immediately walked up. Kong Hao's bouquet of roses was prepared by Su Jie in advance. In the final stage, Lin Shiqing must be given flowers. If you don't send flowers, it always feels like a lot is missing. Taking the rose handed over by Kong Hao, Su Jie walked towards Lin Shiqing. Lin Shiqing's eyes flickered and she covered her mouth with a look of disbelief. She felt like she was about to cry with happiness. What is love? She thought about it for many, many years, but still couldn't figure it out. Based on her vampire mentality, how could anyone in this world be willing to be good to her at all costs, except for her relatives? She has never met those peers in the family, and she only has some superficial contact with them. They are from different branches, have entangled interests, and the relationship is not pure. But before, Lin Zan, the fiancé appointed by the family, just looked at her beauty and became interested in him, wanting to fulfill the engagement with her. Many of the humans I meet are interested in their favorable family conditions, or they like their appearance and figure, and the purpose of contacting them is inherently impure. But Su Jie, after this period of contact, 
she gradually understood that she had fallen in love with him. Using time stop to reverse the tide of the battle, she had white hair and mental exhaustion. He blocked a fatal attack for her in Silver Moon Mountain and almost died. The two of them were sitting together playing the piano in the villa, with Su Jie's warm embrace. There are also many funny moments. Su Jie was scared away by his little fan. Due to the increase in his attribute points, the dirt in Su Jie's body was discharged from his pores. He smelled of defense and was extremely smelly. He accidentally made a video with Su Jie's mother. Memories flow and time passes. If the souls can match each other and the two of them can help each other, then that is love. Desire may allow people to be overwhelmed by dopamine in a moment and have the idea of wanting to happen indescribable things. But when the relationship actually happens, the novelty is gradually worn away and what is left? There are very few people who can continue on. In a long life, there are too many things that are more cohesive. Feeling happy is the meaning of pursuing love. In the corner, a boy clenched his fists. Pure love god of war, give me a boost. The Torin and I are at odds with each other. Su Jie stood next to Lin Xiching's seat, and the lighting engineer also worked hard to adjust the spotlight on the two of them. Everyone in the hall was looking at them at this moment. Many girls feel like they are watching an idol drama. But this scene is obviously much better and more eye-catching than many embarrassing idol dramas. Su Jie slowly bent down and brought the flowers to Lin Xiching. Lin Xiching, I like you. Su Jie didn't know how to say anything about love. His science student brain really couldn't think of any touching romantic words. So he finally chose to speak his mind. But a few simple words are far more effective than long, sweet words. Lin Shi was so moved that she suppressed her tears of happiness. She raised her delicate hand and took the rose from Su Jie's hand. Looking at Su Jie who was close at hand, she thought to herself, this elm-headed man has finally enlightened. Then, she wanted to stand up and hug Su Jie. But at this moment, an accident happened. Boom, Lin Xiching tripped on the steps, her ankle clicked, and then she fell forward. At such a critical moment, she actually sprained her foot. Su Jie reacted quickly and hugged her tightly. The two sisters beside them, Kui Xiaoxi and Yi Exner, quickly stood up and supported Lin Xiching. Xiao Qingqing, are you okay? Is your foot sprained? Xiching, Look at your feet being swollen. As a vampire, Lin Xiching was not shocked by the pain. When she stood up just now, her mind went completely blank. She stood up too quickly and accidentally sprained her foot. A 180-year-old fourth-level vampire has sprained his legs. It would be so embarrassing to tell him. Even at the moment when she was about to fall, she still held tightly the bouquet of roses Su Jie gave her. When they were in the tribe, the bouquet of roses Lin Zan gave her was not only many, but each one was much more beautiful than the one Su Jie bought from the flower shop. But she didn't hesitate and threw it in the trash can. Whether a rose is good or not depends not on how brilliant it is, how beautiful it looks in full bloom, or how full and gorgeous its petals are. But look at the person who gave the rose. What Su Jie sent was the most beautiful rose in the world. Su Jie, it seems that Xi Qing's ankle is indeed sprained. Carry her on your back and go to the hospital quickly. Kui Xiaoxi urged. Yi Exner on the side also echoed. Yes, go to the hospital quickly. The sooner you go to the hospital, the faster you will recover from your injuries. Su Jie nodded when he heard this, and then said, Okay. He bent down and directly carried Lin Xiching on his back. Lin Xiching screamed and hugged Su Jie's neck tightly. Along the steps of the auditorium of the performance hall, Su Jie carried Lin Xiching on his back and quickly reached the exit. The people present gradually came to their senses. Seeing this, some fanatical female fans from the Philosophical Love Support Club quickly stood up from their seats, wanting to catch up and continue eating CP. The entire performance hall suddenly became chaotic. Kui Xiaoxi observed this scene keenly. She stopped at the door and pulled Yi Exner. At the same time, she closed and locked the door of the performance hall. Yi Exner on the side looked at her in surprise. What are you doing? It's my turn to ask you, what do you want to do? A young couple is going to the hospital. Why are you, a big light bulb, joining in the fun? Kui Xiaoxi said speechlessly. Yes, Yi Exner suddenly came back to her senses. At this time, many enthusiastic female fans of Jai Ching Love had already arrived at the door. 
You can't follow me, Kui Xiaoxi said in a tall, sassy voice, let the two of us get along well, and don't go over to take pictures or disturb them. Kui Xiaoxi said it was difficult to understand these so-called philosophical love support club members. How could there be such a person in the world? But the forest is big, and there are all kinds of birds. Kui Xiaoxi is like one man standing in front of the gate, and no one can stop him. Senior, are you seriously ill? Why did it bother you when we took pictures of them? You were really nosy. How can there be a person like you, blocking the door to prevent people from getting out, and a good dog is not blocking the way? No matter how rude these fanatical fans are, Kui Xiaoxi always takes them indifferently and stands at the door. Yi Exener on the side looked at Kui Xiaoxi with admiration with stars in her eyes. If she were to stand at the door, she would definitely not be able to stop so many enthusiastic fans. At the critical moment, it has to be my sister Kui. Seeing that there was no way to go through the front door, these ardent fans of the support club immediately turned and headed for the back door. Kui Xiaoxi had nothing to do when she saw this. At this moment, outside the performance hall, Su Jie had already fled away with Lin Shiqing on his back. With his physical ability, it is not difficult at all to get rid of those ordinary people. Su Jie ran all the way outside the school without even breathing. This also has something to do with Lin Shiqing's low weight. He is 1.68 meters tall and weighs less than 100 kilograms. Although she is relatively thin, there is still meat where there should be meat, and the places where there should be thin are very thin. Feeling the soft and boneless Lin Shiqing on his back, the two soft masses rising and falling continuously, Su Jie couldn't help but feel his mind swaying. I have to say, this feels really good. Wait, I am a gentleman, how could I have such thoughts? Chapter 71 By the way, why did you sprain your feet just now? It's really funny that an adult vampire actually sprained his feet. Su Jie said with a smile. Hearing this, Lin Shiqing said angrily, it's not because you made a surprise attack on me and sang to me. I was startled by you at that time, so that's why I sprained my foot. Then let me ask you, did I sing well just now? Su Jie asked. Lin Shiqing tilted her head and thought for a while, then said categorically, it doesn't sound good. The singing is not good at all. So the tears in your eyes just now were because I sang too badly and made you cry. The corners of Lin Shiqing's eyes were bright, shining slightly in the night. After being exposed, Lin Shiqing said angrily, Yes, you sang so badly that I even cried because you sounded so bad. Is there any problem? Su Jie laughed, Of course there is no problem. However, I have another question. Is the injury on your foot healed? If you use blood to heal it a little, the injury will be restored to its original state immediately. Quote. Lin Shiqing snorted. Well, it has been cured a long time ago, but I have to let you carry me. Ha, huh, I don't know who told me that he liked me just now, but now he doesn't even want to carry me. Of course I do. In fact, there is still the second half of the sentence that remains unsaid. I'm afraid even a man would be willing. Lin Shiqing was wearing a dress with only safety pants underneath, and her long legs were smooth and smooth. Su Jie's hands held her thighs, and they felt quite good. Not to mention the soft touch on your back. Su Jie's younger brother almost stood up. But this does not deny his character. He is still very upright, but his physiological reaction cannot be restrained. That's pretty much it, Lin Shiqing said with satisfaction. Su Jie carried Lin Shiqing on his back, and the latter let him walk into the park next to the school. Lin Shiqing doesn't want to go back yet and wants to play outside for a while. It happens that there is a park next to the school. Changolin Park is one of the largest parks in Binhai City. It covers a large area and has many entertainment facilities and landscapes. It was night at this time, and the entire park was supposed to be crowded with people. But for some reason tonight, there were not many people in the park, or even very few. Su Jie was happy to carry Lin Shiqing on his back. He was physically strong and could carry a hundred kilograms of weight, which could only be said to be a piece of cake. Just as Su Jie was walking, he suddenly felt a stabbing pain on the back of his neck. Hey, what are you doing? Su Jie screamed. A drop of blood slipped from Lin Shiqing's fangs, and she raised her head. Ha, huh, suck blood. To punish you for laughing at me just now, my feet are sprained. Don't make a surprise attack. It really hurts. 
If you are mentally prepared, the pain of being sucked blood is easier to bear. But if you are not mentally prepared, come directly. That really hurts. Seeing that Su Jie was in pain, Lin Shiqing panicked. Really, a flash of red blood energy appeared on her fingertips, covering Su Jie's wound. The wound healed quickly. Then she rubbed Su Jie carefully. Isn't this more comfortable? Lin Shiqing said with concern. Then I won't suck blood suddenly like that in the future. I'm sorry. Lin Shiqing's voice was usually cold, but at this moment it was much softer and cute. It's like a little sweet girl acting coquettishly. Su Jie's heart melted after hearing this. It's okay. If you want to suck it, you can do it at any time. Su Jie said proudly. He is a soft-spoken person but not a tough one. Lin Shiqing is so cute, just suck it casually. Suck as much as you want. Otherwise, why do we say that women who can act coquettishly have the best luck? Acting like a spoiled child is really a surefire skill for men. Hiss. You're really rude. As soon as he finished speaking, Lin Shiqing gave him another mouthful. She took a small breath, and a stream of sweet blood flowed between her lips and teeth. I really want to rest on his back for the rest of my life, take a sip of blood when I'm hungry, and sleep on my stomach when I'm sleepy. Su Jie carried Lin Shiqing on his back, feeling up and down. Is his relationship with Lin Shiqing officially established now? It seems that it doesn't count, because Lin Shiqing hasn't agreed to him personally yet. At this moment, hey, is what you said before true? Lin Shiqing asked suddenly. What did you say? Su Jie was confused for a moment, thinking it was about blood sucking. Of course, you can suck as much as you want from now on. You idiot, that's not the case. Lin Shiqing said angrily. Why is this guy so confused? Su Jie began to think hard, and suddenly he had an idea. Lin Shiqing was talking about what he said to her when he gave her flowers in the performance hall, right? I really like you. Lin Shiqing trembled and paused. Okay, I get it. Su Jie seemed to suddenly have an idea. He then asked tentatively. So, can you be my girlfriend? Lin Shiqing was silent. She originally planned to test Su Jie for a while. But now she couldn't help but want to agree. It's all this guy's fault that she was so moved that night. Um, a voice as light as a gnat rang out in the silence, and Su Jie immediately stopped moving when he heard the words. This, this is what you agreed to. Ah, I'm really not ready yet. Ahem, what about my wife? Don't be so disgusting when you first come up, okay. Lin Shiqing patted Su Jie's shoulder wordlessly, buried her head in it, and her face turned red. Wife, wife, wife. Su Jie became interested and shouted several times in succession. Lin Shiqing's face turned red at the shouting, and she twisted Su Jie's flesh. Whatever I don't let you do, you just do it, right? If we don't fight against each other, where will the fun come from? You're really going to die. Su Jie enjoyed this atmosphere very much, and the two of them laughed and laughed all the way. While the two were arguing, raindrops suddenly fell from the sky. Oops, I asked why no one comes to the park. It turns out it's going to rain. Su Jie said in surprise. Don't worry, Su Jie, I'm going to give you the first test. Test. After hearing Lin Shiqing's words, Su Jie's expression froze. Good guys, there is still a test. Of course, I am only agreeing to you initially. If you think everything will be fine now, that is impossible. If I were so easy to chase, you wouldn't cherish me. Lin Shiqing said it succinctly. Just tell me, as long as you don't let me go up to the sky to pick the moon for you, I will try my best to satisfy you. Su Jie replied. You carried me all the way home in the rain. Su Jie was stunned when he heard this. What? This place must be more than 20 kilometers away from the villa. Are you kidding me? What's wrong with 20 kilometers? Just say whether you want or not. And you can't just run all the way, at this pace. Lin Shiqing continued. The raindrops had begun to pour in, and their bodies began to get wet. And the clothes were gradually getting soaked. Su Jie expressed confusion and was shocked. Are you having trouble with yourself or with me? It doesn't feel too good to be soaked in water, right? I just want to stay on your back for a little longer. Lin Shiqing said softly. Su Jie was stunned. What's wrong with Lin Shiqing? She just wanted to stay with her for a while longer. For such a request, as her boyfriend, I must satisfy her. 
There are not many guests in the quiet indoor restaurant of Zuo and Western Restaurant, only some slight whispers. Yi Wei looked at the medium rare steak in front of him. Some blood had solidified on it, and it looked average. He didn't know why buying brought him to a place like this. Dizzy. They are all vampires and don't need to eat at all. Even if they eat these steaks, they will spit them out intact. The desserts such as cakes and cream that Lin Shiching ate could still be digested, but such meat was simply overwhelmed by the severely degraded digestive system of the vampires. But seeing Bai Ying calmly cut the steak on the plate in half, then forked a piece, put it in her mouth and chewed it, Yi Wei unexpectedly felt that she was enjoying the process. In the afternoon, after finishing the company's affairs, she originally planned to go home, but Bai Ying suddenly suggested that she come to a western restaurant to sit down and have something to eat. In this way, Yi Wei was taken to the left bank western restaurant with some confusion. I don't understand. You and I can't digest this steak at all. Why do you still order it? Yi Wei finally couldn't help but ask. Bai Ying smiled upon hearing this. Actually, I have always felt that eating is a very happy thing. Even though I have become a vampire, it does not mean that I have to give up eating. But you will still spit it out. Yi Wei said, you're right, but after eating, people can't just go in and out. Bai Ying retorted nonchalantly. Yi Wei frowned when he heard this, but humans must eat. They eat to obtain energy. You can't get any energy from these foods, you will only spit them out. Well, so what? Bai Ying asked, what is the core of your question? After thinking for a moment, Yi Wei organized his words, I want to ask you, what is the meaning of your eating? Bai Ying breathed a sigh of relief and raised the corners of her mouth slightly. It's another weird thing about meaning, but there's not so much meaning to be found in the world. I only eat for fun. Happy. Eating is just to please yourself. According to what you say, there is no point in living. We all have to die anyway. Um, Yi Wei felt that he could not defeat Bai Ying on this argument, so he changed his angle. Why do you still like to eat after becoming a vampire? In the early days of becoming a vampire, Yi Wei also tried eating food. He unexpectedly felt that his appetite had dropped to zero. Just like when humans see human blood, they generally have no appetite. Races have changed, and eating habits have also undergone earth-shaking changes. This question is interesting. Indeed, among the vampires I know, I seem to be the only one who likes to eat human food. Maybe I didn't completely become a vampire, or maybe there were some mutations. When I was still a human, I loved eating, and this hobby continued after I became a vampire. Bai Ying said thoughtfully. Isn't it hard to spit out that food? Yi Wei then asked. He had eaten human food once, but he vomited it out not long after. The process of vomiting was difficult to describe, and the pain was so profound that Yi Wei never ate any human food for hundreds of years. What should I say, as long as you get used to it, everything is like this. If you try to eat for the first time, you will definitely get used to it and spit it out. Quote. Bai Ying looked at Yi Wei in front of her. He had sharp eyebrows and starry eyes. He was a uniquely handsome man in ancient times. After putting on a suit, he looked extraordinary and charming. But at this time, his hand was a little restless, changing its position from time to time, whether it was placed on the table or hanging down. It's like you are not used to contacting me now, so you act very awkward. Bai Ying shrugged. Yeah, you are always nervous when talking to me. It feels like you are afraid of making mistakes. Yi Wei frowned slightly. The woman in front of me is a bit scary, she feels like she can read minds. He was afraid of making mistakes and lowering his image in front of Bai Ying. After all, it was Lin Xiaohua who introduced him. He valued this so-called blind date and wanted to leave a good impression on Bai Ying. Do you know why I brought you here today? Bai Ying suddenly changed the subject. Why, look around here, they are all in pairs. Left Bank Western Restaurant is a must-visit place for many couples. Yi Wei, I want to ask you, do you want to have further contact with me? Quote. Yi Wei was a little confused by Bai Ying's words. So caught off guard, in this relationship, Bai Ying has always been in an offensive posture. This made Yi Wei feel warm and at the same time often felt overwhelmed. Looking at Bai Ying, she was dressed very beautifully today, her silver white earrings flickered slightly under the candlelight, her eyes were soft and watery, and her light red lipstick was cute and playful. 
I think so. Yi Wei replied. If you think about it, we should have more contact in the future to enhance our relationship. We have to practice the feeling of falling in love. Look at what the couples around you are doing. Having a candlelight dinner on a weekend night and listening to the live piano in the hall, this is the taste of love. Bai Ying said with a smile, her eyes looked like crescent moons. Okay, of course. Bai Ying shook her head when she heard this. You are too tense, your voice is stiff, as if I am forcing you to answer. The assistant named Zhou Shuemming in the company is very relaxed when you are with her. Have you noticed? Quote. Yi Wei was stunned. This is the power of habit. If you get used to me being by your side, my emotions, and my personality, you will relax. Bai Ying said softly. That assistant named Zhou Shuemming has been with you for many years. After I have known you for the same amount of time, you will get used to me. Come and watch a movie with me. I bought the tickets. Let's find a hotel to stay outside tonight. Quote. Ha, huh, is it too fast? Before Yi Wei finished speaking, Bai Ying took his arm and pulled him up. Just come with me, I'll arrange everything from now on. The clouds were overcast and it started to rain moderately. Yi Wei didn't bring an umbrella. He decided to take off his coat to protect Bai Ying from the rain and walked to the parking lot. Taking off his coat, he stood up like an eaves. Under the eaves, Bai Ying hid in. Yi Wei and she trotted forward and soon arrived at the parking lot. Bai Ying didn't get any raindrops on her body, but on the other hand, Yi Wei, half of his body was already soaked. Bai Ying felt warm in her heart. It seemed that Yi Wei was not the kind of guy who didn't understand amorous feelings at all. He was still very useful at critical moments. You are so wet. In this case, let's not go to the movie today and go directly to the hotel I booked. Bai Ying thought for a moment and then said. It's okay, this little rain is nothing. Yi Wei said nonchalantly. Be good and be obedient. It's uncomfortable to have rain on your body, I know. Bai Ying showed a gentle smile. I also wanted to thank you just now for helping me protect me from the wind and rain. I'm very touched. She immediately stood up on tiptoes and kissed Yi Wei on the face. Zhou Shuemming looked outside through the glass of the cafe. Opposite was the Left Bank Western restaurant. Suddenly it started to rain, and the raindrops splashed messily on the glass, making the lights and shadows on the street at night become psychedelic and scattered. The most popular thing among the cafes was Americano coffee. Joe Schwemming, who had never drank coffee before, followed the crowd and ordered a cup. She didn't come here just to drink coffee. She just absentmindedly took a sip of the coffee brought by the waiter. She couldn't help but feel a bitter taste in her mouth, and she almost spit it out. It seems that I am not suitable for drinking coffee. The scene became blurry, but Joe Schwemming still saw at a glance the other side of the street. Yi Wei held up his coat. Under the coat, the deputy general manager named Bai Ying was well covered, and no raindrops fell on her. She followed Yi Wei and Bai Ying. When she got off work in the afternoon, she originally planned to go home, but at the company door, she saw Yi Wei and Bai Ying getting into the same car. The two were talking and laughing, and they were very harmonious. After being restless for several days, Zhou Shuemming urgently wanted to know the relationship between Yi Wei and Bai Ying. She didn't know if she liked Yi Wei or not, she wanted to avoid this question, but after thinking about it, she still gave herself a definite answer. It was precisely because she had a good impression of Yi Wei that she cared so much about his relationship with Bai Ying. So she took a car and asked it to follow Yi Wei and Bai Ying. Zhou Shuemming followed all the way here. Now seeing Yi Wei protecting Bai Ying from the wind and rain, Zhou Shuemming, who should have been heartbroken, did not feel too uncomfortable. She raised the Americano in front of her and took a sip. Um, why is the coffee not as bitter as before? Silly, Zhou Shuemming called the waiter, paid the bill and prepared to walk out of the cafe. Wanting to cry but not having any tears seems to be a more suitable description of her mood. Alas, many years have passed in the blink of an eye. She is 31 years old this year and is considered a leftover girl. Her family has urged her to get married many times, but she has blocked them all. The assistant to the general manager of Lin Group's salary is indeed not low. He can make almost 30,000 yuan a month before tax, and there is also a year-end bonus. The salary of 15 yuan a year is easy. Calculated in this way, a salary of more than 400,000 yuan a year is very comfortable. 
but this is Binhai, and the monthly rent is about 5,000 yuan, or 60,000 yuan a year. Plus the bags at home and the little Shiba Inu she raises, her daily expenses for eating and shopping are just it will cost a lot of money. Since becoming the assistant to the general manager three years ago, I have been able to save more than 10 or 200,000 a year. After graduating from her undergraduate degree, at around the age of 22, she joined the Lin Group, starting from the lowest level as a clerk and working her way up to where she is now. For nine years, nearly ten years, she has been in the Lin Group. During this period, she saved a total of more than 600,000 yuan, most of which she saved in the past few years after becoming an assistant to the general manager. This is a lot of money, but it is not enough to settle down in Binhai. A house costs tens of millions, which is too expensive. But Zhou Shweming is already very satisfied. After all, living alone with such a large salary is already very nourishing. Recalling the first day she entered the company, she met Yi Wei at that time. Speaking of the process of getting to know each other, it was also very strange. Zhou Shweming and Yi Wei took the same elevator, but the elevator broke down halfway. While waiting for rescue, she was so frightened that she hugged Yi Wei and even wanted to say her last words. Yi Wei kept comforting her and letting her gradually calm down. The experience at that time was still before her eyes, and Zhou Shweming couldn't help laughing. I was so embarrassed at that time. Later, when I found out that I was hugging the general manager, I worried that I would be fired for several days. Unexpectedly, after this indissoluble bond, Zhou Shweming had some communication with Yi Wei, and they would also talk to each other from time to time. Yi Wei is very mysterious. He never appears during company dinners. Even old employees don't know the actual situation of Yi Hui's family, such as whether he is married or where his hometown is. You were single before, but now, you should be in a relationship, right? Zhou Shweming sighed. She didn't bring an umbrella, so she had to cover her head with the bag in her hand and quickly ran to the bus stop on the side of the road. The scattered raindrops hit her body, bit by bit, making her feel a little cold. When she arrived at the bus station, there were no buses at this time. She waved her hand, stopped a taxi, and then got in. Zhou Shweming began to think wildly again. Sister Bai Ying is also very good. She is so gentle and intellectual, and she will definitely be good as a wife. When the time comes to go to the wedding venue and eat a few more wedding candies, this matter will be over. It's good that a secret love ended like this. Some things have to be let go. When she returned home quite dejected, Zhou Shweming had become half a drowned rat. As soon as the door was opened, the little Shiba Inu came flying over. Zhou Shweming smiled on her face and picked up the little Shiba Inu. You little guy, you are so cute. Dot dot dot, dot dot dot. On the muddy street, Su Jie carried Lin Shiqing on his back, and the two of them still walked forward in the rain. Su Jie calculated in his mind that they were now on Tianshui Street, and after two more intersections, they would not be far from the villa. Passers by wearing ponchos and riding electric cars were surprised when they saw Su Jie and Lin Shiqing. At the same time, they couldn't help but sigh that young people nowadays are getting more and more playful. Could this be performance art? Su Jie and Lin Shiqing were already soaked, and all their clothes stuck to their skin. Su Jie tried his best to keep his eyes open under the wash of rain. Lin Shiqing hugged Su Jie's neck on her back and didn't say a word. She just lay there silently on her back, feeling the temperature of Su Jie's body and the feeling of the heavy rain washing over her body at this moment. We're finally here, Su Jie sighed, so fast, Lin Shiqing suddenly realized. This is not fast, we have been walking for four or five hours. Su Jie was speechless. Quote dot dot dot, so we've been a couple for four or five hours. That's true from the moment you agreed to be my girlfriend. Excuse me, how does it feel to be my boyfriend? Lin Shiqing became interested and asked. Do you think it is inappropriate for us to discuss this issue in this current situation? It was raining heavily, and two ultimate drowned rats were walking on the streets at midnight, like two ghosts. In fact, they are really ghosts, vampires. Su Jie's hair was stuck to his scalp, and the rainwater was flowing continuously from top to bottom, washing it so hard that he could hardly open his eyes. Answer, Lin Shiqing said softly, hugging Su Jie tightly at the same time. She turned a blind eye to the rain all over her body, and happiness enveloped her tightly. 
Now I am also a girl who is cared for, loved and held in the palm of my hand. I no longer have to watch others show affection, I can show it too in the future. Su Jay wiped his face and said, The biggest feeling is that I can finally sleep with you in my arms. Lin Shiqing groaned when she heard this, I don't want it, don't even think about it, I can sleep alone. If you sleep with me, I don't know what bad intentions you have. Quote, but if a boyfriend and girlfriend don't sleep together, what kind of boyfriend and girlfriend are they? Su Jay said angrily. Lin Shiqing did not answer Su Jay's question directly, but asked, So, you really want to sleep with me? Of course, how much do you think? Su Jay was stunned and thought for a while. I really, really, really want to say important things three times. Lin Shiqing burst into laughter upon hearing this. What the hell, you said it three times. Doesn't this mean that I want to sleep with you? A sly smile appeared on Lin Shiqing's face. HMPH, the more you think about it, the less likely I will agree. If you don't want to, I will agree. Ha, huh, what the hell is this? Monk Su Jae Jong Er couldn't figure it out. The easier it is to get something, the less you will cherish it, so I just want to whet your appetite. Lin Shiqing tugged Su Jae's ear. Ah, this. The handsome boy was speechless, and the handsome boy was in tears. It's okay, as long as you treat me well as my boyfriend, I will agree one day. Lin Shiqing said softly. Real or fake? Sure. Su Jae's eyes flashed and he made a calculation in his mind. There are roughly five stages of intimacy in love. The first stage is holding hands. This is the youthful stage of falling in love, and it is also the most beautiful and pure stage. Two people are ignorant and their feelings are pure. In the second stage, hugging and holding each other, the two people's bodies have sufficient contact, which shows that the relationship between the two has taken a further step. The third stage is a kiss on the cheek, and the fourth stage is a formal kiss on the lips. As for the fifth stage, it is naturally the combination of spirit and body, and things happen. Lovers who can complete these five steps step by step and without haste will most likely be able to stay together in the future and have a deeper relationship. But if it is too fast, for example, after only knowing each other for a few days, or just one night, and then reaching the final step, this kind of relationship will come and go quickly. In this fast-paced era, everyone is too anxious. By swiping a short video, you can fall in love with a girl in a few seconds, and in a few seconds, you can forget about the girl just now. Emotions need to be tempered, but desire does not. It can directly bring extra exciting pleasure. But the spiritual comfort that feelings can bring is far more profound and long-lasting than desire. For example, when a man enters the sage time and still likes the girl around him without any boredom, this shows that the man really loves the girl. Although Su Jay occasionally feels uncomfortable in his heart, he is still a relatively conservative person at heart and keeps himself clean. When he had known Shu Ru for three months, the latter had already hinted to him many times that some indescribable things could happen. Su Jay didn't want to develop so fast, so he rejected Shu Ru, which is what he is glad about now. Shu Ru, is too dirty. Su Jay asked tentatively, then what is my authority now? Lin Shiqing was puzzled. What authority? Boyfriends and girlfriends will always have some intimate contact. How deep do you think our contact can be? Su Jay added. Ah, Lin Shiqing was stunned. This. Dot she really hadn't thought about it well. I have to think. After tilting her head and thinking for a while, Lin Shiqing said, at most, it can be as big as a hug. Ha, huh, what's wrong? Do you want to go further? It's not impossible. HMPH, you have a pretty good idea. Lin Shiqing blushed a little and said in a very soft voice, if you want to go further, it depends on your performance. Su Jay was not in a hurry, he was happy to take his time with Lin Shiqing. Although a lot has happened between them, it is undeniable that they have only known each other for more than half a month. Dot dot dot, dot dot dot. In the Lin family villa, Lin Xiaohua and Lin Wen were in the living room. The two of them were lying on the sofa, Lin Xiaohua was holding Lin Wen, Lin Wen was in front, and he was behind. Lin Wen takes good care of herself. On the one hand, it is because she is a vampire and her cells age extremely slowly. On the other hand, it is because she has been pampered for a long time and has no pressure or worries. Flowers do look more colorful in a greenhouse. Lin Xiaohua rubbed his wife's skin, but Lin Wen held his hand. 
How dare you do it in the living room? Don't mess around. What's wrong? My wife and I can do something we love, can't we? Lin Wen said speechlessly. But this is the living room. What if Zhao King and the others come back later? Just come back when you come back. We didn't do anything bad. Can you be more gentle with your hands? Lin Wen's face was a little rosy, but she didn't expect to feel it. But when it came to her daughter, Lin Xiaohua really started to worry about her again. You think so? Why hasn't this little love come back? It's past 12 o'clock now. Is it possible that she really wants to spend the night outside with that boy? What are you afraid of? Zhao King is sensible. Didn't we tell her before that we won't let her do anything outrageous with Su Jie? Lin Xiaohua shook his head. That's nice to say, but deep in love, it's like firewood. I don't think they can stop in time. Lin Wen was still relieved. I know Zhao King very well. She will abide by her promise, so don't worry about it. Lin Xiaohua said with emotion. It's quite sad to think about it. I didn't expect Zhao King to fall in love with a blood slave in the end. I felt a little uncomfortable in my heart, but in the end I decided to let her be. As long as she is happy, it will be fine if Zhao King can be peaceful for the rest of her life. Quote, Lin Xiaohua is not short of money. In today's society, as long as you have money, 99% of your worries have been solved. The other 1% of your worries may be because you don't have enough money. As for Lin Xiqing falling in love with a blood slave, his family status should be affected, but these are actually false, so don't worry too much. In fact, through this period of contact, Lin Xiaohua's grudge against Su Jie has been eliminated a lot. The depression in his heart has basically dissipated towards this guy who kidnapped his daughter without saying a word. Su Jie still cares and takes care of his daughter. Although he may not have much power, he can at least make his daughter live happily. Why don't we practice the trumpet again? Lin Xiaohua said with a flash of inspiration. What did you say? Lin Wen was startled. The reproductive cycle of the vampire family is very long, often lasting more than 10 years. When Lin Xiqing was born, she was pregnant for 19 years before she was born. Giving birth to a child is so tiring. Xiao Wen, don't worry. As long as you are pregnant, I will definitely not let you do any work. I will take care of you obediently and won't let you suffer at all. As long as you can raise your baby at home with peace of mind. Quote. Lin Xiaohua comforted him. Hey, okay then. Lin Wen agreed anyway. Who told her to love this man? Vampires not only have a long reproductive cycle, but also have a low probability of winning the bid. If you don't do it dozens or hundreds of times, you basically won't be able to get pregnant. Lin Xiaohua knew that ever since he decided to practice a trumpet, he would inevitably have to fight a long and fierce battle. It was night, the rain was still falling, and in the dim and blurry streets, one could still see a figure leaning on another person's shoulder, walking slowly. This is Su Jie and Lin Xiqing. They are about to arrive at the Lin family villa. When seeing the outside of the Lin family villa area, Lin Xiqing patted Su Jie on the shoulder. Let me come down. We have to keep our voices down and enter the villa quietly so that my parents don't find out. Lin Xiqing said softly. Su Jie was stunned. But your father is a baron and he is so powerful. How could he not discover us? If they happen to be sleeping, as long as we hide our blood energy fluctuations, they will not notice it. Lin Xiqing explained. Slowly placing Lin Xiqing on the ground, Su Jie looked at the girl close at hand and couldn't help but move his attention downwards. Hey, is this something I can watch without paying? What about the temptation to get my body wet? It was summer, and Lin Xiqing didn't wear much, so her graceful silhouette was inevitably revealed under the rain. After Lin Xiqing noticed Su Jie's gaze, she quickly crossed her arms and covered her chest. What are you looking at? Ahem, it's nothing, Su Jie said quickly. At the same time, he took off his suit jacket and put it on Lin Xiqing. That's good. Lin Xiqing's heart warmed up when she saw this, and she hugged Su Jie forcefully. The two hugged each other, and Su Jie felt like his front was about to melt. So soft. Sure enough, I saw you right. Lin Xiqing hugged Su Jie and whispered, You are different from those who only value my body. Of course, I am a gentleman. When Su Jie said this, he couldn't help but blush. It happened that thunder sounded at this time, and Su Jie closed his eyes with guilt. 
This thunder won't be directed at you, right? Lightning flashed across the sky, but Su Jie was safe. Fortunately, fortunately, I didn't chop myself. Su Jie felt comforted. It seemed that God recognized him as a gentleman. Su Jie separated from Lin Shiqing and touched her little head. Let's go in. Good. The two of them entered the villa area slowly, one behind the other. Compared with Xilin Villa, this villa area is more modern. The overall design is European style, and the interior decoration and various landscapes also have a Western flavor. As soon as they entered the villa area, Su Jie and Lin Shiqing hid their blood energy fluctuations. As long as they are not carefully searched by powerful vampires, they will generally not be discovered. There is a huge fountain at the entrance, with water flowing gurglingly, which is not so obvious in contrast to the noise of rain. Su Jie and Lin Shiqing followed suit and soon approached the villa. In the lobby of the villa, a beautiful scene was being staged. Lin Xiaohua and Lin Wen are making out. Because they were immersed in sports, none of them noticed Su Jie and Lin Shiqing approaching. Su Jie and Lin Shiqing, who had no idea about the situation in the hall, chose to climb over the wall after arriving at the door of the villa. The wall outside the villa is not high. For ordinary people, it may take a lot of trouble, but for the vampires, they can sneak in with just an effortless jump. The sound of rain tonight is a good disguise. Under such heavy rain conditions outdoors, Lin Xiaohua and his wife are even more passionate. They thought that Su Jie and Lin Shiqing would not come back tonight, but what they didn't expect was that they came back either early or late, just when they did the unspeakable thing. Ha, huh, why are there some strange sounds? Lin Shiqing stopped and frowned. Looking at Su Jie, he was also confused at this time. Is this voice serious? Isn't it the sound in some action movies? Is there anyone watching a movie in the villa? Impossible. Lin Xiaohua and Lin Wen don't look like that. Having lived for hundreds of years, they definitely have no interest in this film. However, I really can't say for sure. After thinking about it carefully, Su Jie felt that the sound was very three-dimensional, very surround, and very clear, unlike something that could be emitted from a speaker. Won't. Lin Shiqing, who was beside her, had already looked in through the floor to ceiling window of the living room. She just glanced at it and then retracted. The little face also turned red. She held Su Jie's hand and whispered, let's go live outside tonight. Seeing this scene, Su Jie almost understood what happened. He pretended to be confused and did not ask further questions. This is so embarrassing. In addition, although he was a little curious, he still did not dare to look inside through the glass. Maybe there will be needle holes. In addition, if he saw it, the image of Lin Xiaohua and his wife in his eyes would completely collapse. It's better not to look at it. Pulled by Lin Shiqing, the two walked out of the villa area. Su Jie noticed that Lin Shiqing almost wanted to speak, but in the end she remained silent. There should be a hotel nearby. Let's just sleep there for one night. Lin Shiqing suggested. Su Jie nodded. Okay, but I'm not very sleepy. Are you? Since becoming a vampire, Su Jie found that he slept less and less. Even if he stayed up all night for several days, it would not be a problem. I'm actually not very sleepy. After all, I've been sleeping for a day and the blood energy in my body is also very full. But the main reason I wanted to find a hotel was to take a shower. I was so wet and uncomfortable. Quote. Then let me look for it. Su Jie put his hand into his pocket and touched something hard. It's a mobile phone. The waterproofing of Guozi's phone is pretty good. It's been raining with me for so long and it's still fine. Su Jie couldn't help but sigh. I opened the map software and searched for nearby hotels. There is an express hotel 800 meters away from here. Shall we go there? Su Jie asked. Lin Shiqing nodded. I definitely can't go back home. The scene with her parents just now really shocked her. Even their image collapsed in their hearts. But if you think about it carefully, it's human nature and there's nothing to worry about. She would have those moments too. He tilted his head slightly and looked at Su Jie. My face couldn't help but turn a little red. By the way, what does that feel like? Under the leadership of Su Jie, the two walked to the Express Hotel. Dorn Express Hotel is open 24 hours a day, and in the rainy night, the signboard is still shining faintly. Su Jie walked in front, and Lin Shiqing walked to the counter first. The waiter at the front desk is a man, about 20 years old. 
because he works the night shift, he has obvious fatigue on his face. After seeing Su Jae and Lin Shiqing walking in, he stood up. At the same time, I felt a little surprised. Why did these two people get so thoroughly soaked? It was as if they had taken a shower while standing in the rain. The clothes kept dripping water on the ground, tick tick tick. In the middle of the night, I always encounter strange customers and strange things. The waiter calmed down and asked, Hello sir, how many rooms do you need? Su Jay paused and blinked wildly at the waiter. At the same time, he extended a finger on his hand. The waiter should understand what he means, right? When the waiter saw this, he immediately understood. After staying in the express hotel for so long, meeting many customers and gaining a lot of experience, he naturally understood what Su Jay meant. Ahem, I just checked for you. Now there is only one double bedroom left in the hotel. Hearing the man's words, Su Jay's brows suddenly relaxed. Yes, you are indeed very aware of current affairs. Lin Shiqing behind her looked towards the front desk from time to time. She was also wearing Su Jay's suit jacket, and under the jacket, the arc was looming. Then let me ask. Then he turned around and walked to Lin Shiqing. There's only one double bedroom left, is that okay? Lin Shiqing hesitated. Are there no other rooms? Are there any other hotels nearby? It seems like it's gone. This is the only hotel within a few miles. Su Jay replied. A fierce struggle was going on in Lin Shiqing's brain. After thinking about it, didn't I just come to the hotel to take a shower? He wouldn't do anything outrageous with Su Jay. There's no need to be nervous at all, right? Then stay here, Lin Shiqing said. Su Jay nodded. Okay, then I'll go get a room. Fortunately, Su Jay brought his ID card, otherwise there would still be problems checking in. After booking a room, the price for this night is 388, which is not too expensive. The male waiter handed Su Jay the room card and accidentally saw Lin Shiqing. This, this is so beautiful, this brother is really blessed tonight. Unlike myself, at the age of 28, she is still a virgin and has never even held a girl's hand. The man felt a little sad in his heart as he watched Lin Shiqing and Su Jay go upstairs together, imagining the intimate scene between the two. My heart hurts even more at this moment. When will you arrange a girlfriend for me? After going upstairs, Su Jay used the room key to open the door, and then let Lin Shiqing go in first. The environment of this express hotel is not bad. The room is very clean and the big bed is very clean. You go take a shower first. Su Jay sat on a chair in the room and said to Lin Shiqing. Lin Shiqing nodded and walked into the bathroom, and soon there was the sound of water. Unlike many girls, she takes a long time to take a bath, which can take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. In less than 20 minutes, Lin Shiqing walked out wearing a bathrobe. Her hair was wet, and she looked petite and cute. When Su Jay saw this, he immediately had no intention of taking a shower. Just as she was about to hug her, Lin Shiqing pushed her away. You're so wet, go take a shower. Lin Shiqing blinked. Su Jay had no choice but to reply, okay. He walked into the bathroom and took off his clothes in three quick strokes. After rinsing, it only took less than 10 minutes before Su Jay walked out. The shampoo in this hotel has a bit of an unpleasant smell, and I don't know if it will cause baldness after using it. Looking at the big bed, Su Jay was stunned. You are. Lin Shiqing was lying on the bed with a quilt in between. The bedding became the realm of Chu, he and Han, dividing a large bed into two pieces. Let's rest for a while. Let's lie down and chat. Lin Shiqing patted the bed on the other side. Su Jay lay next to him. Everything was fine, except for the quilt in the middle. What a sight. But just lying down and talking is already quite happy. Dot dot dot. Dot 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 the Hampton Hotel in the city center. As one of the best five-star hotels in Binhai City, the rooms inside are extremely luxurious. The various splendid decorations make people feel like they have entered a medieval royal palace. Yi Wei leaned on the bedside and listened to the sound of water rushing from the bathroom. Everything just happened was so dreamy and fake. He and Bai Ying just slept together. My virginity that had lasted for hundreds of years was broken like this. This is really the case. There was no sloppiness at all. As soon as he entered the room, Bai Ying pressed him against the wall and began to move up and down. 
being aroused, the urge to reproduce surged into my heart. In this way, Yi Wei and Bai Ying started a very physical exercise. He was still experiencing the aftertaste of just now. I persisted for 20 minutes. What level was it? It shouldn't be too low, right? Judging from Bai Ying's appearance, she should be satisfied. That'll be fine. Yi Wei breathed a sigh of relief. He was really afraid that he would become a quick shooter for the first time. That would be a bit embarrassing. But the organs that had not been used for hundreds of years were really playing an extraordinary role at this moment. The sound of water flow stopped and the bathroom door was pushed open. Bai Ying seemed even more charming in her nightgown. Her shoulders, collarbones, and buttons were not fastened, exposing a lot of scenery. Is this something I can see? Yi Wei thought to himself and said at the same time, the buttons on your top are not fastened. I know. Bai Ying shrugged, so do you like to watch it? Bai Ying suddenly came over and put her face in front of Yi Wei. The fragrance was lingering, and Yi Wei touched his nose. Um, then don't be so shy, you act like I'm forcing you. Bai Ying hugged Yi Wei generously, and Yi Hui's head was caught off guard and buried in the ark. Sorry. Yi Wei quickly looked up. The softness just now was a bit ecstatic. Yi Wei, I know that you have always been lonely. Let me take care of you from now on. Bai Ying smiled with a dimple, no matter what, now that we have done this, you have to be responsible for me in the future. Yi Hui's heart surged. In fact, we should be responsible. As a vampire who has been alive since the Ming Dynasty, he understands that after having an in-depth communication with a woman, he cannot let her down. Although hundreds of years have passed, remnants of the ideas of ancient societies still exist. Um, looking at how solemn you look, you can actually refuse me. Bai Ying said half-jokingly. I didn't mean to reject you, I just felt that everything happened too fast, and I haven't recovered yet. Sleeping with a person of the opposite gender who was about the same age within less than a week of knowing each other had a severe impact on Yi Wei. I think you are just too burdened. The world is very fast-paced now. Bai Ying said nonchalantly, hurry up and have a relationship. As long as both parties think it's okay, then there's no problem. I think I like you, and it's quite fun to do it with you. Quote. Bai Ying's blunt words made Yi Hui's emotions surge. He felt a little uncomfortable. It's like buying off and does this, has one night stands or something. Is it okay to do this if you've only known a man for a short time? Yi Wei frowned slightly. He looked at Bai Ying and felt disconnected. She looks innocent on the surface, doesn't she seem like this kind of person? Without an emotional basis, doing so is just to vent your desires and pursue excitement. Is it really not dirty if you do it casually? You've met men a few times before, is this okay? Yi Wei asked tentatively. It mainly depends on my mood. In fact, I am quite open-minded about this aspect. If I feel good about it, I can have a relationship quickly. But if you don't feel that way at first glance, you won't do it. As long as you are happy, that's all. Besides, if you want to have something happen with other girls, I won't care. We are all vampires, so there is no need to care too much about this kind of thing. Quote. Bai Ying's words made Yi Hui's vision explode. He felt as if he had eaten a dead fly, and his face became ugly. What's wrong with you? Bai Ying asked strangely when she noticed that Yi Hui's expression was wrong. Yi Wei regretted what happened with Bai Ying just now, but there was really nothing he could do about it. Bai Ying was really good at. In the past, he could barely care about Bai Ying and choose to accept it, but what she just said was that even after the two of them confirmed their relationship, they could still hang out outside. Isn't this a kind of torrent? From the bottom of his heart, Yi Wei always believed that love is about two people loving each other, rather than just messing around outside. When encountering this situation, he felt more and more disgusted. Bai Ying, I hope we can keep a distance from each other in the future. Yi Wei picked up the clothes from the bed and started to put them on. This kind of scene feels a bit like lifting up your pants and not recognizing anyone. Bai Ying was puzzled and asked anxiously, Why, didn't you just say you were responsible for me? I absolutely cannot agree with your point of view. It is impossible for me to accept a one-night stand and so many unclear relationships. Instead of continuing to get along, it is better to end it as soon as possible. Yi Wei shook his head and walked out of the room. On the bed, Bai Ying was a little dazed. She thought Yi Wei could accept her idea. 
In this life, shouldn't you do whatever you want to do? If you encounter something new and don't taste it, wouldn't you be treating yourself badly? Bai Ying can't understand Yi Wei, just like Yi Wei can't understand her. Dot dot dot, dot dot dot, time passes and the sky becomes bright. A lot of things happened last night. Su Jie and Lin Shiqing were lying on the big bed, and they really didn't do anything. Just rested honestly for the whole night. The time is up, let's go back. Lin Shiqing sat up, clapped her hands, and said to Su Jie. No, I'm very tired and need a kiss to get up. Su Jie acted like a rogue and lay on the bed with his eyes closed. As kissing some kind of panacea. Can a kiss relieve fatigue? Lin Shiqing was speechless. She seriously suspected that Su Jie was talking nonsense, but she had no evidence. Other people's kisses may not be good, but yours are absolutely fine. Su Jie blinked. Like a chicken pecking at rice, Lin Shiqing pecked Su Jie on the face. Why don't you kiss? Do you not want to? Su Jie asked. Don't push yourself too far. Lin Shiqing raised her pink fist. Su Jie immediately became energetic and sat up. Ten minutes later, Su Jie and Lin Shiqing went downstairs. At the front desk, Su Jie bought a black umbrella. Lin Shiqing didn't like the sun, he knew that. Opening the black umbrella, Su Jie enveloped Lin Shiqing under the umbrella. The two of them walked outside. It's not bad to have an extra person to hold an umbrella. It's not bad to have a boyfriend. Lin Shiqing smiled. The best is yet to come. The two quarreled and laughed all the way back to the villa. The atmosphere between the two people was very harmonious. Su Jie suddenly realized that Lin Shiqing had changed a lot now from when he first met her. She is much more cheerful now. Thinking back to the beginning, Lin Shiqing always had a stiff face and a cold look on her face. But now, joking with yourself is no secret. People change. It was 8 o'clock. It took more than 10 minutes to get home, and I happened to meet Lin Xiaohua and his wife sitting in the restaurant drinking blood. Finally back, Lin Xiaohua glanced at Lin Shiqing and said calmly. Didn't it rain last night? We stayed outside, Lin Shiqing explained. At the same time, she couldn't help but think of last night when she saw her parents doing that. Why, it's really not easy to let go completely. Okay, I won't always object to the matter between you and Su Jie, but you must think about it. Lin Xiaohua said calmly, this is the path you chose, and you must be responsible for it. Dad, is it true? Lin Shiqing said in surprise. His father was so disgusted with Su Jie before, but now he suddenly agreed. It's incredible. In fact, last night, after making out, Lin Xiaohua and Lin Wen discussed it for a long time. Anyway, they planned to play the trumpet again, and they decided not to interfere too much with Lin Shiqing's big trumpet. Happiness is still important. Just live this life a mere thousand years, but you must not conform to your own heart. The last generation of vampires generally have a lifespan of 1,000 years. Only by breaking through to the Baron can the lifespan be doubled. Lin Shiqing, as the 13th generation vampire, had a very thin bloodline. It could not be said that it was completely impossible to break through to the Baron, but the probability was very low. Unless he swallowed some pure blood and essence. But that is too difficult, there are so many powerful vampires that can be swallowed up. Of course it's true. After finishing speaking, Lin Xiaohua looked at Su Jie. Su Jie, I have agreed to your work for the time being, but if you let me know that you are not good to my daughter, I will definitely make you pay the price. Su Jie nodded when he heard this, I will definitely be good to Xi Qing. Well, in that case, just get along well with each other. If you need money, let me know. As long as it doesn't exceed 10 million a month, you can spend it as you like. Lin Xiaohua said casually, the most important thing our family lacks is money. The Lin Group is basically controlled by Lin Xiaohua's branch. As a listed real estate company, it is also involved in other industries and investments, and its annual net profit is in the billions. Dad, I knew you were the best. Lin Shiqing stepped forward and took Lin Xiaohua's arm, looking happy. You should thank your mother. She persuaded me and I finally agreed. Lin Xiaohua waved his hand and said. Mom, thank you. Lin Shiqing said with a smile. Lin Wen said helplessly. You are just too willful, but after making this decision, you'd better not regret it. Lin Shiqing looked at Su Jie after hearing this. Did you hear that? 
Don't make me regret it. Su Jie said repeatedly. Of course not. Lin Shiqing, like him, was very pure. Being able to fall in love with such a pure young lady of the vampire race who also liked her was enough for her life. Pure love god of war, Su Jie said he was very happy. From today on, Su Jie, you have to learn fighting skills from me. Although you are a blood servant and your upper limit of strength is not too high, learning some combat skills will be very helpful in the future. Lin Xiaohua said in a deep voice. Su Jie's eyes lit up. Having a barren level vampire teach him combat skills would be of great help to him. Su Jie's current shortcomings are indeed lack of combat skills and experience. Kong has great strength and no skills at all. Although he can kill the old master with random punches, this is not a long-term solution after all. What should you do if you meet someone of the same level? Can we just run away blindly? Su Jie still wanted to try something new. Blindly escaping was not his style. Okay uncle, then I will learn combat skills from you in the future. Su Jie replied. You still call me uncle. Lin Xiaohua raised his eyebrows. Quote dot dot dot. Dad, Su Jie said tentatively. Yes, Lin Xiaohua responded calmly. Su Jie felt a little numb. Wow, it took me more than half a month to have my father-in-law and mother-in-law. So strong. The next few days were relatively uneventful. Su Jie and Lin Shiqing skipped classes as usual. They got tired of being together, waiting for the blood-sucking CD to end. After the CD ends, if Lin Shiqing sucks blood again, she will get a chance to draw a lottery. Nowadays, a little improvement in all attributes has become better than nothing, and the improvement is very small. Maybe things will change after becoming a baron. Lin Xiaohua needed to go back again because of matters involving his clan. The original plan to teach Su Jie the fighting skills needs to be put on hold for the time being, but he will be back in three days at most, and Su Jie's training plan will also be put on the agenda. During these three days, Lin Wen was temporarily responsible for tutoring Su Jie's combat training class. Although Lin Wen is not as powerful as Lin Xiaohua, she is still a vampire who is nearly 500 years old. She has reached the ninth level and has some fighting skills. Nowadays, Vampires generally do not need close combat, so the so-called fighting skills such as Sanda, Muay Thai, and Judo are of little use. The most important thing is to help Su Jie become familiar with the vampires, magic skills and evasion techniques. Su Jie's biggest gain in the past few days is that the so-called combat skills are more about prediction plus reaction. Just like playing a game, the vampire will make a forward movement before casting magic. The main attack magics are blood energy ball, blood flame, and blood beam. These can basically be released as long as you master the use of blood energy. There are no particularly difficult skills. Before releasing the magic, there will be a period of accumulation. This time is a keynote for making predictions in advance. But if it is a tracking skill, it will be difficult to predict the dodge, and higher agility is required. Reaction is very important. Su Jie was surprised to find that after his mental attribute reached 100, his reaction was even stronger than Lin Shiqing. Lin Shiqing is a fourth-level vampire. If she is stronger than her, it means that her reaction power is a level higher than her original level. This is a surprise, and it can also pave the way for future cross-level battles. All in all, his attribute points are also of great use, but Su Jie has not discovered more benefits yet. Regarding the defense points, Su Jie was previously worried that his defense was too high and that Lin Shiqing would not be able to break through his defenses and draw blood, but this worry was completely unnecessary. Su Jie could control the tightness of his body at will. If he relaxed completely and did not put up any defenses, the strength of his skin would still be very limited, and Lin Shiqing would definitely be able to break through it. But if she tried to tighten her skin, it would be much more difficult for Lin Shiqing to break it. This is also like a golden bell in an iron shirt. There is always a joke on the internet that if you practice to the extreme, but suddenly get appendicitis, wouldn't it be impossible to operate? In fact, this is nonsense. After practicing such defensive methods, the tightness of the skin can be adjusted by itself and is not always a fixed value. If you can't even make some adjustments, what's the difference between skin and steel? The manipulation of blood energy is gradually getting better. After the guidance of Lin Wen and Lin Shiqing, Su Jie can now condense some relatively small energy balls. 
Although the damage was limited, it was a start. There has been something unusual in the past few days, that is, between Yi Wei and Bai Ying, the two people who were originally very good at each other now don't even say a word. The two people are in a strange state now, as if they have become a pair of strangers. Don't know what happened between them. During this period, Su Jie had a flash of inspiration and came up with a new idea. That is, when he is in human form, he bleeds, and then turns into a vampire and sucks the blood. Can this promote the improvement of his strength, just like Lin Xiqing improves her strength by sucking blood? This is a fun experiment and good to test. At 9 o'clock in the morning, Lin Wen was still sleeping. Yi Wei and Bai Ying went to the company. Only Su Jie and Lin Xiqing were left in the huge villa. Taking this opportunity is a good time to experiment. Su Jie called Lin Xiqing, and the two of them brought a goblet from the kitchen. Later, Su Jie transformed into a human being. Don't cut it with your fangs, just stab it with a knife. Su Jie said to Lin Xiqing, that will bleed quickly. Lin Xiqing was a little unsure. She was not a doctor. If she had used a little more strength, she might have directly slit Su Jie's throat. For your safety, it's better to suck it with your mouth. Su Jie shook his head. Just stab him with a knife. What are you afraid of? Su Jie was very curious about what it would feel like to have his neck cut. Why do you feel a little perverted? Seeing that Lin Shiqing didn't dare to take action, Su Jie decided to do it himself. He walked to the kitchen, took a table knife, and then walked into the toilet with the goblet alone. Outside the door, Lin Shiqing knocked on the door. If you feel something is wrong, call me quickly and I will save you with blood immediately. Lin Shiqing also felt speechless. Why did her boyfriend have to take such a risk? The only reason Su J did this was to have some fun for himself. Life is too dull and we need to find some excitement. After hearing Lin Shiqing's words, he responded, I know, don't worry, I can't stop bleeding. Are you stupid? You can't stop bleeding. But if your neck is cut open, what will happen to the blood supply to your brain? Lin Shiqing said as if facing a fool. Yes, Su J felt that what Lin Shiqing said made sense. But then he was relieved. Just make a small incision and the bleeding will stop at any time. Don't worry. Su J, who was suicidal, picked up the knife and then stood in front of the mirror. With a casual touch, a wound appeared. There was no heavy bleeding. Su J cut a vein and the blood flow was not too fast. It didn't hurt, just like being bitten by a mosquito. So this is what it feels like to have your neck wiped. Su J was stunned. I just have some side effects, my head is a little dizzy. In fact, you can go a little crazy and cut half of your neck open. But that's a bit crazy, and it's definitely a suicide attempt. After all, you only have one life, live it and cherish it. Soon, the flowing blood filled the entire glass. Su J transformed into a vampire with ease, and then healed the wound on his neck. There is no pressure to bleed yourself. He walked out holding the glass of blood. There was still some blood stains on his body. I got it accidentally just now. Lin Shiqing saw the blood stains on Su Jie's body and thought for a moment, your clothes need to be washed. I'll wash them for you later. You, a young lady, can do laundry. Su Jie expressed surprise. What's wrong? It can't be done. Lin Shiqing said unconvinced, you look down on me, the eldest lady. How is that possible? I definitely value it. Su Jie said repeatedly, it's not too late for me to be happy that my wife will wash my clothes. That's pretty much it, Lin Shiqing said with satisfaction. She saw a short video last night. The short video talks about the best way to express love to your boyfriend is to help him wash his clothes. Although I have never washed clothes before, I can learn, right? Don't worry about washing clothes for now. The most important thing now is to try drinking your own blood to see if it can help you improve your strength. Su Jie brought the tall glass in front of his eyes, but couldn't help but frown. Qingbao, look, does this blood tend to become a little cloudy? Qingbao is the nickname Su Jie recently gave to Lin Shiqing. It's also a nickname. In fact, Su Jie thought about the name Lin Shiqing for a long time. At first he thought Shiqing was fine, but later he felt that it was too ordinary. So in a flash of inspiration, he decided to call Lin Shiqing his love treasure. 
Lin Shiqing found this nickname very disgusting at first and was not very accepting of it, but as Su Jie called it more often, she gradually got used to it. Let me see. Lin Shiqing came over and took the glass from Su Jie's hand. The crystal clear liquid was actually mixed with some impurities. It really is. There are not many impurities, but they are constantly being produced. Frowning, Lin Shiqing asked, could it be that if the blood is exposed to the air, the blood will become turbid? Will it also gradually produce impurities? Su Jie was stunned when he heard this, and then couldn't help but agree, it's really possible. Originally, when Lin Shiqing sucked blood, she drank it immediately and did not transfer it to the container. When Lin Shiqing first had doubts about Su Jie's physique, she just put his blood into a large basin without observing it. It can be said that this is the first time that Su Jie and Lin Shiqing have observed the condition of Su Jie's blood outside the body. I can feel that the taste of the blood is gradually getting worse, which means that the quality of the blood is declining. Lin Shiqing said slowly. I feel the same way. Su Jie nodded, then I'll drink it quickly. Su Jie picked up the glass and drank it in one gulp. Su Jie had a strange feeling after drinking his own blood for the first time. The blood with a faint residual warmth flows from the throat into the stomach, but the effect is still online. This undoubtedly opened up an idea for Su Jie. Bleed yourself in the human form, and then let yourself in the vampire form suck the blood. Good guy, what a perpetual motion machine. But one thing needs to be noted. When he is in the vampire form, like Lin Shiqing, he will also have time to digest. The maximum capacity of the stomach is approximately 5 to 600 milliliters, and the digestion time is approximately 3 days. Like ordinary vampires, he cannot drink too much blood. There must be a balance between your own blood and the blood you suck. Su Jie also discovered a very interesting point. The vampire form and the human form are completely independent. If one of the forms is injured, the wound will disappear immediately after changing to the other form. The status will be completely restored. This means that Su Jie has double physical strength and double life. If one of the forms suffers fatal damage, he can activate the skill and switch to the other form. But if both forms receive fatal injuries, it would be a disaster. How is it? How do you feel? Lin Shiqing asked curiously, this is the first time I have seen a vampire drink my own blood. It doesn't count as my own blood. In fact, the blood I drank was essentially human blood. Su Jie explained. Can your blood improve you? Has there been any change in strength and blood purity? Lin Shiqing continued to ask. I felt it. I can digest my blood, but it doesn't improve me much. Su Jie said hesitantly. The blood in the body is gradually being digested, and then turns into strands of red blood energy. I know, if my blood is absorbed and drank now, the improvement in strength will be great, and it will also be the purest and most perfect. But if it is stored in the outside world for a period of time, even for a second, the blood will lose its activity and greatly reduce the quality of the blood. To sum up, my blood can only be sucked and drank now. It is completely impossible to store it outside the body. Quote. Su Jie finally had a deeper understanding of his system. Lin Shiqing couldn't help but sigh after hearing Su Jie's words. Looks like your idea is shattered. Su Jie smiled. That's okay. As long as there are enough draws, my realm will improve quickly. It's no shame if this idea fails. Lin Shiqing ignited her fighting spirit. That's good. I suddenly remembered just now that a lot of precious and powerful blood essence cannot come into contact with the air. There have been records about this in some ancient books. Once the precious blood essence comes into contact with the air, the quality will be greatly reduced. Quote. Lin Shiqing's words inspired Su Jie, which gave a reasonable explanation to the current situation. By the way, you didn't have to do my laundry, now is the time. The experiment has been completed, and Su Jie plans to change into his blood-stained clothes. Lin Shiqing nodded. Okay, this is my first time washing clothes for you. I will definitely wash them well. Just put it in the washing machine, don't wash it by hand. Su Jie reminded, even if you don't have a fully automatic washing machine at home, it's still very convenient. Lin Shiqing shook her head when she heard this, don't do that. In that case, you can wash it yourself, why do I need to help you wash it? It was mentioned in the short video last night that you have to wash your boyfriend's clothes with your own hands. This is what a girlfriend must do. Is this a rule? 
Quote, Su J had a black question mark on his face. Wait, you mentioned short videos. Let me see the video you made last night. Lin Shiqing took out the pink mobile phone case Guozi 14 Pro Max Dark Knight Purple 1TB from her pocket, opened it and showed Su J the video she watched last night. This is the video. Su J took Lin Shiqing's mobile phone. Blogger. Girls should abide by female virtues. The text of the video is as follows. Girls should talk less and do more. No matter what their husbands say, they should always say yes, good, and right. Don't fight back when you're hit, don't retaliate when scolded, be submissive, and absolutely support your husband's decision. From today on, insist on washing your husband's clothes by hand. This is what every girl should do. If you don't do this, how can you prove that you love your husband? The world is big, but my husband is the biggest. Su J had a dark look on his face. What kind of feudal dross is this? When you click on the blogger's homepage, you'll find junk videos that poison the minds of contemporary girls. He doesn't think it's a good thing to promote the superiority of men and the inferiority of women. Men and women should be equal. Qingbao, please don't read this blogger in the future. This blogger's views are wrong at all. He is full of bad ideas, promotes the superiority of men and the inferiority of women, and incites gender opposition. Su J said speechlessly. In this day and age, how should I put it, as long as it involves gender opposition, there is a steady stream of traffic. Adhering to the concept that black and red are also popular and traffic is king, many bloggers have begun to produce such videos that trigger gender opposition. It is true that traffic is high, and it is also true that bloggers who do anything to gain traffic are useless. Ah, Lin Shiqing looked surprised. Hazy, I thought hand washing your boyfriend's clothes was a custom among human lovers to express love. It seems I misunderstood. As vampires and humans are from different ethnic groups, there will be some differences in customs. Lin Shiqing was deceived by that blogger. Quote dot dot dot. Since there is a washing machine at home, you can just use the washing machine to wash it for me. Hand washing is a waste of time and energy. If we have that time, we might as well sit together and chat and play games. Quote. Really, Lin Shiqing's eyes flickered and she said in surprise. Why is this child a little dull? Well, it is true that a woman in love has zero IQ. Of course, if you have to wash it by hand, why do you need a washing machine? Su J nodded. The current short video platform is really messy. Coupled with the lack of supervision and the overflow of information, the platform is also beyond its reach, resulting in too many messy videos. Su J was so angry that he took out his mobile phone and reported the video blogger directly. I don't know how many girls have been harmed by such remarks. These days, there are too many situations that stir up gender antagonism. Correspondingly, to fool a man, he should take care of the girl buy her a bag, and not let the girl do housework and cooking. Men should do everything, and the girl should be pampered. Whoever said this is not a good person. In fact, there should be no such clear distinction between lovers. You help me and I will help you. This is the best state. It is wrong for any party to give blindly. This is my first time falling in love, and I don't understand it very well. I thought I just had to wash my boyfriend's clothes by hand. Lin Shiqing suddenly realized. Su Jie looked at Lin Shiqing and didn't know whether he should be happy or not. Such silly girls are really rare. Be careful, don't let yourself die. The basement of the Lin family villa was transformed into a training ground. In the past two days, Su Jie and Lin Shiqing often came here to try to manipulate blood energy. From being unfamiliar at the beginning to becoming proficient now, Su Jie has practiced hundreds or thousands of times. The speed of blood energy recovery is limited, and the number of times he can try is limited. If you run out of blood energy, you won't be able to continue training. By guiding the blood energy from the blood pill and gathering it in your hands, you can shape it into magic for various attacks. Imagine that the blood energy is gathered into a circle, which is an energy ball. Converged into a ray, it is a beam. It spreads into mist, which is the blood flame. Su J waved his right hand and sprayed out a stream of blood flames. As soon as he raised his left hand, a blood red energy ball was thrown. Su J was very satisfied with his performance. After four or five hours of training in the afternoon, the blood energy in Su J's body had basically bottomed out. 
In this case, we can only wait until the blood can recover a little before continuing to try. There is another thing today. Lin Shiqing has finished digesting the blood she sucked before and can now continue sucking blood. It's another lottery opportunity, and I don't know what I can draw this time. The last time he drew a bad reward, Su Jie summed up his experience and thought it was because he didn't turn on the BGM. Opening BGM this time can definitely increase luck and unlock a relatively powerful skill. Just do it, Su Jie lay on the bed, like a fish on a chopping board, ready to be slaughtered. Lin Shiqing was wearing a casual t-shirt, with the curvature of her chest looming, and she walked over, ready to suck blood. Just like an, old married couple, Su Jie has no trouble with this. Lin Shiqing skillfully broke open the skin and started sucking. I quickly drank up 500 milliliters. Ding, congratulations on completing the mission, the mission reward is now distributed, all attributes plus one, one lucky draw opportunity. Su Jie sat up, while Lin Shiqing wiped the corners of her mouth and lay down on the bed. She was panting slightly. Ever since the average value of Su Jie's all attribute points has increased significantly, the quality of his blood has undergone earth-shaking changes. Under such circumstances, Lin Shiqing's blood sucking would also cause a certain amount of pain. While the blood brought blood energy to Lin Shiqing, it also transformed the purity of her bloodline. This is quite critical. If the purity of Lin Shiqing's bloodline can be improved, even to the level of the 12th generation vampire, the upper limit of strength and the speed of cultivation will be much higher. Lin Shiqing's face was flushed with blood, and she kept chanting softly. When Su Jie saw this, he didn't intend to use the number of draws he had just obtained immediately. Instead, he lay down and hugged Lin Shiqing. It's okay, I'm here. Just hold on, it'll be fine in a while. Su Jie comforted softly. It was as if after his attribute points increased sharply, all the muscles and bones in his body began to suffer severe pain, welcoming the transformation. This transformation is like an evolution, a kind of growth. Since there are benefits, a certain price must be paid. Wanting to get everything effortlessly, isn't such a good thing. The vampire's body should have been cold, but at this moment, Lin Shiqing's body suddenly became hot. Lin Shiqing's pupils glowed red, and she hugged Su Jie tightly. It, hurts so much. I have never been in such pain before, and I don't know why it is so uncomfortable this time. Lin Shiqing's nails were not long, so she clung to Su Jie's back. There was even blood on his back from the fingernails. Su Jie endured it secretly and silently encouraged Lin Shiqing. It'll be ready soon. When it's over, I'll buy you a cake to eat. Su Jie comforted softly. I want to eat the sweetest chocolate cake. Lin Shiqing's face glowed with life and she said with a trembling voice. Okay, let's eat chocolate cake. Su Jie agreed quickly. He had a feeling as if Lin Shiqing was giving birth and he was delivering the baby. But judging from Lin Shiqing's level of pain, it's probably no different from giving birth. Even more painful than giving birth. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Thirty minutes later, the storm was followed by a long calm. The burning sensation on Lin Shiqing's body gradually subsided, and her mind gradually became clearer. Her eyes lit up and she said in surprise, Su Jie, the purity of my bloodline, Dot has actually made a qualitative leap. The blood purity of the blood clan is divided according to generations, like a ladder, from the first generation to the thirteenth generation, the blood purity goes down all the way. Even if both parents are pure blood races, giving birth to a new blood race will still cause a certain amount of blood loss. Perhaps this is a limitation imposed by the creator on this ethnic group. If the bloodline is not lost at all, there will be many existences in the world that are powerful enough to compare with the ancestors of the blood clan. However, both parents are of pure blood, so the blood purity of the new blood will be relatively high. Even among vampires belonging to the same generation, there are differences in blood purity. For example, Lin Shiqing's parents were both pure 12th generation vampires. Her bloodline was pure enough, and she was considered the best among all 13 generation vampires. At this moment, after drinking Su Jie's blood for more than half a month, nearly a month, her blood purity has increased to the 12th generation. Theoretically speaking, Lin Shiqing's probability of breaking through to Baron has increased by at least 10 times. If the purity of my bloodline was a puddle before, it is now a small pond. 
Lin Xiching said excitedly, the purity of my bloodline has actually been raised to the twelfth generation. It's unbelievable. Su Jie smiled. That's great. I'm still surprised. You didn't have such a big reaction when you sucked my blood before. Why is it so strange today? Lin Xiching smiled. I was surprised at first, but then I realized the drastic changes in the blood in my body. Just as Su Jie wanted to continue speaking, there was a burst of pain behind him. He couldn't help but groan slightly, with a look of pain on his face. Lin Xiching felt something was wrong when she saw this, and immediately asked, What's wrong with you? Su Jie waved his hand, It's okay. You just pressed your finger on my back. There are some wounds. I can heal them quickly with blood. Let me see. Lin Xiching anxiously wanted Su Jie to turn over, but Su Jie said meaninglessly, It's okay, it's just a small wound. Obey, turn around and let me take a look. The more she was not allowed to see it, the more worried and guilty Lin Xiching felt. How could I do that myself? I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.